that should be good. We're live. All right, let's talk about some, some things and stuff. Wait, I hear myself again. Hold up. No, I don't. I just want to, I want to wait for people to come into chat so they can let me know if they're hearing like feedback. Yeah, I don't hear myself. I'm just going to wait. All right, so we have one viewer in here. I just want to see if like people come in and then I want to see cuz I definitely I definitely want to watch this video with this dude cuz I didn't get a chance to. Hi Jana Banana. You can hear me. There's no feedback. Daisy, go ahead and talk. Say hi or talk for a minute. You don't hear no feedback? No, you don't. I don't hear it. You do. You hear it repeating? I don't. Do you hear it repeating? Yeah. Do you really? Do you guys hear it repeating? Do you guys hear it repeating? Sounds good. Cannot hear Daisy. Okay. All right. Let's fix that. Desktop audio advanced options. And you're saying you can't hear Daisy. Let's try that. How about that? You can hear me. What's up, y'all? Now, are you hearing two, Are you hearing her say what's up, y'all, twice? Or she only say it once? I just need to make sure. Only one echo. Only one echo. You hear an echo? Yeah, like I hear you repeat it. You do? Yeah. It's better now. One time. So now there's no echo. Now we're good. Go ahead and talk for a minute, Daisy. You can Hello. You can tell them what we're gonna what we're about to do. What's up, speech? A uh, uh, speech <laughs> chat. <laughs> um, no echo here. Y'all can hear Daisy good here. though. It was great on Justice Live, and you sat in the background. You went on. I had to go to bed. Oh, okay. No echo. Sounds you, good. You guys can hear Daisy now. Yes. Awesome. But you can you okay. can go ahead and tell them what we're going to watch here in the beginning because I didn't get to watch it yet, and I, you didn't get to watch it yet, did you? I didn't watch all of it. No. Okay. So go ahead and go ahead and explain to them what we're about to watch. Okay. So and basically, we're going to. Out. Go back to Michelle's live from last night so we can hear um, the guy that came on that we just have questions about. This, what was his name? The Nameless Protagonist. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And a matter of fact, what I'm going to do is pull up his YouTube channel. Oh, I fucked up. Um, let me just go to YouTube here. I'll type his name in. The nameless protagonist. Okay. So that will be his YouTube channel. We are going to check out his videos in a minute. But first we're gonna check this out. I'm just I'm gonna address a whole bunch of different things today. Um yeah, I did I did see a lot of things. I saw a lot of videos on the boy in the suitcase stuff. I haven't even touched base on that yet, so I can't give you any information on anything that I haven't watched anything on yet. But uh maybe later tonight we'll we'll jump on and do another. Let's just talk about some some things and stuff and we'll 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 discuss that. For now, my focus is this video, you guys got to let me know if you can hear the audio when I do go to play this. Uh, I'm going to try to make it full screen. But at the same time, like, I want to try to watch what's going on in her chat. So maybe I'll just leave it in this screen. I'm going to go ahead. I know a lot of y'all already watch Michelle Sutton. But I'm going to copy her link to her channel. If you don't already follow her, please do. She's good people. Love her dearly. She might even pop in here. Who knows? So you can go ahead and watch this. See what's going on. You guys let me know in chat if yeah. there is any reverb. I hope there's not. But I'm also going to mute my microphone so that we don't get any, any type okay. of feedback. Okay. All right. Ready? 
they're not gonna let me go so here's some money it's not oh, enough if, if, I, if, I, if i was abducted and needed a ransom i'm not even giving you enough to get me out not enough to get me out or get me home even a plane ticket costs them more than that you know, across the country, it seems like. I wonder what the significant, like, what, like, that that amount is just so strange. Yes. Audio's good? All right, cool. Hello. <laughs> good evening, everyone. How you guys doing? Good. Hope you are. No, I'm just a... Uh random encounter to your channel i'm learning about this new genre apparently uh well new to me relative to my perspective i didn't know there was a community of people who did this kind of thing um you mean like discuss the cases that are going on well i was getting the sense that i guess some of you guys even do investigations like maybe on a private level this is creepy I, none of the creators that I, I follow are on a private level. Well, what I mean is, you know, doing research on established cases that are out there. So maybe you're combining resource. You can correct me if I'm wrong. Again, I'm just gathering what information I've heard so far with you guys up here, that you guys do research on various cases, compare notes, and then come to conclusions and possibly, you know, lend information that may assist in the cases getting closed in a more positive light etc that kind of thing i have nightmares yeah i mean so i need to get high when we gather information Sorry. like it's you know we're we're sleuthing on google or whatever <laughs> web browser you use um some people will i mean we try to be careful here of what we put out we want to you know, mm -hmm. always fact check it so make sure it is the truth um but most of these cases have a whole lot of crazy holes Switch that trees. um don't get filled and a lot of questions that don't get answered and we try to right, we yeah. try to get those answers that's fair enough yeah once again um i'm new to seeing this i've seen the community of individuals that watch police, for example, um, they're, the, they're the group of people I see oftentimes that try to hold the police force accountable for various scenarios that occur. I know they have a community. Um, I know there's other people that kind of look at this from well, other instances that would be more high profile and they do a lot of on the side research. For example, you know, folks that may have been historical figures or people who are pretty prominent in the media at the time. You know, they do a lot of research with regards to that as well. So I'm still learning. Yeah, the auditors. I just saw that in the chat. Yeah. So this is my first time hearing about something like true crime. So it's just good to know for the future. Um, I'm creeped the fuck out, Michelle. I didn't know if you guys had any <laughs> like tools had you guys like using that may be useful. I mean, obviously, Ugh. besides just Google, but... Uh, I didn't know if you guys had any additional resources you guys use or content creators you follow that kind of do this on a more systematic level. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, I don't know of anybody that's doing it on it late. Michelle, I, uh, oh. I was talking with Tim in chat um, or whatever. Yeah, he basically is just trying to figure out about the true crime community, like what it is that we do. Like, you didn't know there's creators doing stuff like what we do, basically. Correct. And I was yeah. going to say, I didn't know that really either when I um, I first kind of came on the scene. Because I made YouTube videos before I actually watched any YouTube videos, like, of anybody else. I made them first. I did it kind of backwards. And so when I first came on and I, would like, started, like, researching things or, um, you know, different cases or something would come on, like, my For You page or whatever... I, that's when I kind of like started seeing, um, he you know, like I saw Michelle educated. and then Sleuthy and I kind of just started like branching out, you know, seeing who you guys like follow or, you know, um, kind of like yeah. you guys, you're crust into and then it's like, okay, well, they, you know, because you guys are. Yeah, we're going to listen to this and then I'm going to go check out his channel. I'm going to see like what kind of, what kind of stuff he puts out there. Incredible. Then I can say, okay, they're, 
you know, that's kind of, I feel like what we do in this community. We, we try to be there for one another and exchange notes and, um, help each other solve things that other people might not, not be able to solve. I'm gonna let them talk. I'm gonna go and I was yeah, getting like just channels. in the chat, right? Sorry, go ahead, bud. Go oh, ahead. my fault. Yeah, I was just saying, I was just getting the gist of that in the chat, because once again, I just go to the YouTube live section and I just kind of browse and see who's here just to expand my understanding of how people are using YouTube. And, you know, sometimes I come across things that really surprise me. So uh, I just wanted to learn a little bit more about what you guys do. That's all, because it sounds yeah, like so it's a pretty good idea. Think of it like channels that cover like news, pop culture, things like that. You know what I mean? If we focus more on missing people, crime, you know, it'd get more on like that aspect of it. Yeah, I yeah, think in the can... age of cell phones, that's useful now, right? Because so if you guys like have an internet connection and a way to people. kind of communicate, you can compare notes, which technically is exactly what most investigative bodies do anyway. So, mm -hmm. can I ask just because it's it, our name our names aren't popped up i'm sleuthy but what what is well, your name sir got me tripping out. my name is the nameless protagonist oh okay well me too it's very uh, I'm like it's very soothing but i <laughs> but i also think then so he the reason that right. so the way that we are i think um if we if anybody sounds a little bit uh hesitant or I want to put her live chat. I'm in. just going to say hesitant. It's Let just me because say of... I know how to read the room. So yeah, I understand. I, yeah, so I understand I completely. <laughs> I empathize. And so that's why I just wanted to be transparent as to why I'm up here. So you guys understood. It's no yeah, I just, I figured I'd come up and just, you know, basically, so yeah, we do, we spread a lot of awareness. We've all been pretty caught up on recent cases just because it's been in the media a lot, the, the mainstream media. Um. But we basically just raise awareness for missing people. Um, I personally don't usually get involved in like um, homicide cases, uh, things like that, cold cases. I usually, that's a more recent thing for me. Um, I usually try to help find, locate missing people. Um, mm -hmm. But we all just, we come around, we talk, we try to think uh, like if we're, for instance, if we're looking for a missing person, we we kind of gather and just figure out where might be good ideas to look, who can go to different um, rest stops, who has access, you know, people use resources that they have personal to them too. But most of us just use like open source um, data collecting and public public records information to just sleuth. I'm sure you know what it is. Yeah. So again, it just like, like you said before, just more eyes on a single event that may have occurred. And it could be the difference in having enough manpower in the form of your community to help get things solved, which I think is pretty interesting. I just didn't know. It's a good idea. And I guess it should have been intuitive that folks are doing it. I just didn't know that there was a community that, you know, put more effort into that. That's, that's interesting. Oh, yeah. yeah. And uh, I told you, I checked out your channel. And uh, if you guys look at his channel, you'll see he curious pretty much. Yeah, Michelle, did he show his face before coming on panel? All right, let me, I'm also going to look through chat. It's like us about things, so. <laughs> did and, you see my uh, high this was it. Yeah, <laughs> I think this, uh, yeah, I think he'd fit in pretty good with us. Like I said, we all get along. I, we don't tolerate none of the drama or anything like oh, this. We stay gosh, focused. Well, I'm more of a futurist. She does say go back to, to and listen to what Ronnie sounds like. Ah, um, we can do that. I think that's probably direct. Okay, let's do that. I'm going to leave that open, but I'm going to open a whole new YouTube. That's a really good idea. Let's go, let's go listen to Ronnie's voice. Let's go to Upchurch's channel. Let's find Ronnie. Can you pause the video for a second? I did pause it, babe. Can you hear me? Daisy. Yeah, I can hear you. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, I'm gonna, I wanna hear, I wonder if, okay. So Ronnie was on here. Up church, please don't, please don't strike me down. I'm just a poor little mom trying to do your work that you passed the torch on. First things first, Mr. <laughs> Mel, thank you for letting me on your show earlier. 
Sorry, I flew a little off the handle. That guy didn't really like him that much. And I'm glad I didn't, because I still don't like him that much. But I do like you. You're a pretty nice guy. I can still be your rowdy friend. If that's okay with you. I'm just playing. You see, in this Callie Rodney case, this weird Ronnie guy who came out of nowhere, he's like, hey, I'm a, I'm a park ranger for drugs. Who, me? Innocent Ronnie? From around here where the girl went missing? Oh, yes. I just know all the knowledge about around here. Yeah, my partying days are over. Did I mention my name's Ronnie? I have three children, but boy, do I know about all the cocaine and partying around here. My partying days are over. I haven't partied since 2012 or 16, but man, do I know all about that party that happened last week. Pfft, that old Ronnie. I know all about that party last week. Do you want to know how I know? I went to a party in the same spot a decade ago. <laughs> Like, before they left. Like, they, cause they left around, like, 10.30 or 11. Darn, another 10.30. Okay, 10.30 or 11. He says it there. Let's go back here. Let's hear this guy talk at the very beginning when he was by himself. Um, I know there's other people that kind of look at this from, or well, other instances that would be more high profile. Okay. Hold on. We can go back. Where's it at? Why don't I hear it? I haven't partied since 2012 or 16, but man, do I know all about that party that happened last week. Pfft, that old Ronnie. I know all about that party last week. Do you want to do So okay. before that, like, I would guess like around eight or nine, she was, she was already drunk. Okay. Let's hear him talk again over here. And they do a lot of on the side research. For example, mm, you know, folks that may so. have been historical figures or people who no. are pretty prominent in the media at the time. You know, they do a lot of research with regards to that as well. So. Let's learn that voice again. Dang, Ronnie, did your cousins tell you that? Hmm. Well, I don't know how your mysterious cousins that weren't there yet seen that, but I damn sure do see Sammy seeing that. Because supposedly she had gotten there around 9, something like that, 10 o'clock. Yeah. He sounds like Ikenel. Yes. His cousins who don't Actually, know who she had listen. gotten there around 9, something like that. Hear Ikenel's voice? I'm still learning. Yeah, the <gasps> auditors. I just saw that in the chat. <gasps> yeah. So this is my first time here. Dude, he sounds more like Ikadmel than he does Ronnie. Tell me I'm wrong. In chat, press one if you if you think he sounds more like Ikadmel. Press two if you think he sounds more like Ronnie. Cause I'm I'm going with one. So I'm a I'm a, I'm going with one in the chat. That's what I think. It sounds way like a icked mail. Let's listen to his voice again on, on, on this again. Hearing about something like true crime, so this is good to know for the future. Um, Whoa, that is icked mail. Like that, ten o'clock. Yeah. <gasps> yes, his cousins who don't know who she is at all whatsoever. All right, so then let's go. Don't strike me, because I'm only using 10 seconds. That's all I'm going to do. Use 10 seconds of you talking. And if you strike me, I'm going to be mad. I just want to hear you talking. Okay. I just want to hear this man talk. All right, here we go. Hey, baby. Yeah. Don't you want me? Oh. <laughs> Talk. Don't you want me? Oh. Today was a half a day for the kids in school. And then tomorrow there's no school. That is definitely what I hear. I'm closing his out before I get a strike on that. Let's hear him talk some more. I'm going to fast forward to where we were at. It's just because it's been in the media a lot. The, the mainstream media. Um, but we basically just raise awareness for missing people. Yeah, it was hurt my ears. Um, <laughs> I personally don't usually get involved in like um, homicide cases, uh, things like that, cold cases. I usually, that's a more recent thing for me. Um, I usually try to help find, locate missing people. Um, mm -hmm. But we all just, we come around, we talk, we try to think 
uh, like if we're, yeah, for I'm instance, if we're looking for a missing person, we, like we kind of gather and just figure out ready. where might be good ideas to look, who can go to different, um, rest stops, who has access, you know, people use resources oh, no, that they that. have no, personal to them too, but hand. most of us just use like open source, um, data collecting and public, public records information to just sleuth. I'm sure you know what it is. Yeah. So again, it just. Like like no, you said before, no more eyes on a single event that may have occurred. It could be the difference in having enough manpower in the form of your community to help get things solved, which I think is pretty interesting. I just didn't know. It's a good idea, and I guess it should have been intuitive that folks are doing it. I just didn't know that there was a community that you know put more effort into that. That's, that's interesting. Oh, yeah. yeah. And I uh, told you I checked out your channel, and uh, if you guys look at his channel, you'll see he curious pretty much like us about things so <laughs> did you I, see my I high this was it. yeah <laughs> i think this uh yeah i think you'd fit in pretty good with us like i said we all get along i we don't tolerate none of the drama or anything like this we stay focused are y'all seeing what i have on the screen nameless protagonists provide a mirror into our own souls while trying to assess their own semi simultaneously and for that the revolution Revelation is that although we have no names for the characters with whom we resonate, we know them intuitively. They know us too, or else their words wouldn't be so frank and matter-of-factly. Hmm. That is kind of cool, though. Kind of like the name. I just want to see... That's cool. Kind of creepy. It is, it is. It's kind of creepy. But I don't judge, and I'm curious about his Instagram. what kind of stuff he's in to all right just out of curiosity it's probably gonna make me oh no we're not nope not doing that sorry if y'all want to go check out his on your own we ain't doing that no i already see what that is bye bye okay now here's my question why has he got that shit on his instagram I don't even know. I am scared to click on any more shit after that just popped up on my screen. If you want okay, to... I looked away from... What was it? Mm-mm. That's like... All right, I'm going to open that in a new tab. No, you don't and... have to open it again. No, I'm going to open it in a window over here. Okay, all right, cool. Okay. I don't know where the fuck I was just at, but I did not like that. My apologies to anybody that did catch a small glimpse of that. That was gross. It was uh, manga, Ma manga, manga. Wow. I said that's the wrong one. This isn't the wrong one. This is him. This is, I mean, hell yeah, dude. He kind of looked like Lil Wayne. He be eating some good shit. Damn, dude, does he really? He does the one arm challenge thing that's crazy get it bro hell yeah dude hell yeah hell yeah that's what's up all right i'm done with that you want me to watch him do the push-up all right i could do that all right please don't be the wrong one i'll cry all right let's watch him do a damn Damn, I can't even do a two-handed one, <laughs> you know? Where you at, Daisy? I'm in chat. Oh, you're all up in chat. This mm -hmm. motherfucker does a one-handed push-up on each hand. Fuck that. I don't know about y'all, but I cannot do one with both hands. So... Anyway, what I was doing earlier was I was trying to download. I don't even know if it installed. No, it fucking didn't. It's starting to really make me mad. Let me see if it actually did download. Probably fucking didn't. No, it didn't. So, since it didn't, let me go ahead and do this again and download. Google Earth. Because we're going to go on some little ventures. Oh, it's going to load the whole thing. 
Why can't you load me the download? I want to download it. Yeah, I want to download it, man. Thank you. Can I download it on my freaking computer? Is it going to install on here? Or is it going to install on my phone? Let's see if I hit install. Will it install on here? Okay, it won't. Alright, Google. Let's just do this. Google Earth download. I could have sworn that I had it, but I guess not. I mean, it's, it's very possible. I don't know. I ain't fucking with it. Uh, Michelle, you can privately share my thoughts with Shanda on the sky. I was immediately going to jump on to save you, but Sleuthy got you. Sleuthy got the vibe right away like I did. Um, Kristen, we're safe here. You can talk about anything you want. You can go ahead and type whatever you want in chat. Very true, true exposure. Yeah, I would really like to know her opinion as well. Alright, so... Why can't I install it? Can I just say something? Yeah, go for it. Um, So, there I just want to point out that this happened right after a certain someone dropped a community post mm -hmm. last night with all three yeah, of our Yeah, we're going to discuss that as well. Yeah, just saying. So, it was oh. odd timing. Dude, why can't I click... Oh, because I'm zoomed in. We downloading it now. Okay. Save. Yeah, I would definitely like to know, seriously, Kristen's point of view. Yeah, I want to. I want to know her thoughts. I don't want to listen to any more of that because I'm getting the creeps. I'm not gonna lie; like it's giving me the creeps. I'm going to go ahead and just leave this as my default screen until. If y'all want to read that, have at that. Because I literally have been sleuthing on everybody. And this here doesn't make people suspects. Please don't think that. I'm just keeping track of. This girl is all over the damn place is all I'm saying. but we don't need to have her on there and everybody's all up in her business so we'll just do that what you can pay attention to is these ones right here though well these ones right here um let's okay let me read some of the chat uh please fill me on what happened last night oh we're going to kate shit was it was just nuts um, I don't even know if I have the, the t I'll read my text messages. I know I sent them in screenshot form to somebody, but I don't think I, th I might have thrown them in Discord. Let me see if they're in Discord real quick. Beep boop, beep boop. Did I throw them in scroll chatter, guys? I may have, I may not have. Oh, my download's done. I don't want to update my shit anyway. All right, where the hell are my downloads? Mm -mm, mm -mm. Right, I'm gonna leave that up. Hey, you can check uh, Discord. Yeah, it's for on. Michelle. Okay, for Michelle. Is that what you said? Oh, I see her. All yeah. Right, let me see. I'm I'm scrolling down. I don't think that has anything to do with it, but yeah, Daisy, I do. I, I, I get that kind of vibe, too. Just my opinion and my opinion only. All right, and then we're going to hop into, I need to find something here. I could have sworn that I uploaded them in. Okay, we're going to address that. Okay, I'm going to be in chat mainly. Cause I'm That's fine. I'm about right. I'm going to pull up his community post that he made. Okay. And we're going to discuss that as well. But I need to install 
Google Earth while we discuss that. Yes, please. Yes, please. Okay. So, is that gonna stay on my screen? Like, can I minimize that while it's installing? Oh, shit, it already installed. Alright, cool. So, this was brought to my attention. Mm, was it last night before I went to bed, Daisy? I can't even remember. And I just feel like it needs truly addressed because I'm not I'm not going to have people coming in disrespecting and being rude and all that shit up in my chats. I just that's not what I'm about and it's not what I'm going to represent, but I am going to squash this shit out cuz I think it's bullshit. Um no, that's not it. This might be it. Yep. There we go. All right. And then I'm going to try to zoom this in the best that I can so everybody can read it. Can we all see this? I'm going to read it. We can see this on screen. Do you need it bigger? Is that, is that, <laughs> is that good? Because holy fuck, it's blinding me. Okay. It says, I just wanted to share with the whole community and L.E., my first suspects as a true true crime alleged Truckee, California, insiders planted here in our community to twist the minds of very truth-sensitive fans of true crime. I want to present to you Squirrels on Fire. That's me, guys. She came out with the very last, I don't know what that is, of Megan when Megan was been cross-examined by me and the whole community. Number one, I just want to say... Everybody in this scenario, including Sammy Smith, that everybody thinks is so sus, everybody is innocent until proven guilty. And if this man really stands by law enforcement and stands by the American right, he would know that and knowing that everybody is innocent until proven guilty. Furthermore, Megan is just a trucky native. She wasn't at the party. Her children weren't at the party. So how can you even say to put her on trial? Like, seriously, you're going to put her on trial to be cross-examined? Who the fuck are you? Okay? Unless you're law enforcement yourself, who the fuck are you to cross-examine anybody? Okay? Then he goes on to say, no face cam interview, just a voice that could have been anyone. Is the possibility of Megan getting penalties from blaming Sammy of 25% of blame? I don't even understand what the fuck this man is saying. The Sammy had something to do or responsible of Kylie Rodney's death. The whole world witnessed this, not just me. The video is still out there at Behind the Crimes from Michelle Sutton. Yes, please go watch her interview. Because on there, she was on camera. On the one interview I had with her, she was on camera. On this one, I kept telling her, don't you don't even have to get on my live like you don't have to get on my panel and I've explained that to her and she felt comfortable after talking to me for I think it was like two or three days her and I were talking behind the scenes she was taking me all over Truckee she was showing me places in Truckee literally for seven hours I went on an adventure with her while she had her camera turned outward and she's showing me like she showed me where some of the kids lived where some of the people lived. She took me to shopping centers. She took me all over the place. She showed me where old Truckee was. She showed me the difference between new Truckee. She explained to me the difference between old money, new money, and all that. So we're going to keep on reading. The whole world witnessed this, not just me. The video is still out there in, at Behind the Crimes with Michelle Sutton. And it is confirmed they came to talk to her about her interviews and statements on footage available. After that, no one but Squirrel of a liar, me the liar that's been bringing more truth than this motherfucker can even hold a fucking flame to, okay? Been in contact with Megan. I'm allowed to have whatever friends I fucking want in anywhere on this globe. Who are you to tell me who I can and can't talk to? Are you a little bit jealous? I think so. What's the matter? You can't investigate your own shit. You got to come and troll other people to get information. Go do your own work. That's what I do. Yes, I'm asking questions to you at True Crime and Faith. Daisy, <laughs> if Megan was okay. She's fine. Megan is fine. The only time Megan is not fine is when douchebags like J-Rod do shit like this, where he feels 
that he has any pull or any say to cross-examine somebody, you're not the fucking police. And even if you are, fuck you, J-Rod. Um, yeah, said, yes, confirmed, Megan is okay on live stream. The whole chat room witnessed this. Yeah, and what's your fucking point? Like, you have no fucking point other than drama, just like Fueled. Okay, we're going to move on to the next thing or whatever the fuck he's saying. Like, I, this is ridiculous that people even act like this. Like, how jealous are you? Okay, and then we're going to go ahead and read the response from Daisy. I'm sorry that you have such a different perspective on this. Where I see people being bashed, you see us as being involved. Exactly. Exactly. Nah, it's called having compassion and innocent until proven guilty. Here's the question. J-Rod, were you at the party? Didn't think so. Neither was I. Neither was Daisy. Neither was Megan. You know? Like, this is the truth. Oh, yes, I'm throwing you and everyone under the bus. Thank you for replying to confirm exactly what I'm exposing y'all for. What exactly are you exposing us for? Talking to Megan? It's freaking insane. Like, talking to Megan that wasn't right? even at this party. Like, I'm an accessory to what? Having friends? Why don't you go get yourself some? Like, why don't you turn off your YouTube and go make a fucking friend? Because then maybe you would understand what loyalty is. When all you've done is come into my channel or go into Michelle's channel or go into talk to Daisy and then you, you call people in, you befriend people and then you stab them in the fucking back. What kind of friend are you? Is all I've got to say to J-Rod. Like you do not know what friendship means. Truly do not know what friendship means. Let's move on. Oh God, he just never shuts the fuck up, does he? Always got something to say, but he don't... Ha when does he ever have his own shit? When does he ever have some type of new information or some type of research that we could go look into? All I see is an insecure man that puts people down and yells at people, like literally just yells at people on his fucking things. Go investigate yeah, something. He plays, he plays other people's YouTubes in the background. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, you're sitting here using everybody else as a pawn to your shit. What I think he is, when he came at me and said, there's an infiltration in the YouTube community, yeah, buddy, it's you. It's you. Oh, yes, I'm throwing you and everyone under the bus. Thank you for replying to confirm exactly what I'm exposing y'all for. Still don't know what the fuck it is for having friends, I guess. Y'all are in trouble. We better not make no friends. He's the no friend police. You're protecting the same people that's proven the you. I don't know what that even says. And everyone in your camp lie about this whole case. Does he not realize that Megan doesn't even know most of these people that went to this party? She just knows these kids through her own child that isn't even in California. Like her child is off at school in Idaho. Anyway. His next sentence. So laughable. I know. And I can't wait till Nurberg looks at this shit because this is fucking laughable. Don't forget that I'm connected with the owners of Nurberg Mom. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, fucking right, bro. <laughs> and what fucking planet? There Little is girl. No owner. <laughs> <laughs> I know. That's what I'm saying. Like, this shit is fucking laughable, dude. <laughs> like, fucking laughable. Laughable. Yet he's the one that says he has family in LE, that he is with LE. He said with his own mouth, that I am with L.E. So if you're with L.E., leave me the fuck alone because you ain't got shit on me, bro. Nothing. Nothing on me other than the fact that I've made some friends in a crime community. Yeah, Kate. That's, that's, that's what he said. Owners. The owners of Nerdbird Mafia. The owners of it, okay? As if it's like a fucking franchise. <laughs> uh, not no tread is all promises. Promises of what, buddy? Because you... Have nothing to promise. Like, I've seen you not bring one fucking thing, not one thing, of, not one shred of information to the table that hasn't been somebody else's. You know? All of y'all expose yourself looking for clout. Nah, buddy, that's called projection. That's exactly what he's doing here. Here's all the clout you wanted. Buddy, my YouTube channel is doing just fine without you. Let's go see how many people you have following you. Um... Yeah, there we go. Here we go. Exactly, Daisy. 
for having compassion for someone, LOL, have you seen your videos where you've talked to Lindsay? Dude, if this was really about justice, you would be pointing the fingers at the big names and the fact that you're subtly silenced tells me everything I need to know. And it's true. Clout. What? Okay. Clout. <laughs> People that do shady stuff and switch up are the ones in it for the money. And this is like, literally, like, J-Rod on point. It, I am Nerd Bird Mafia long before you ever heard of them, little boy. Oh, this is you talking to him. Okay. You found us and used Nerdbird Mafia and your YouTube channel for clout. Yes, that is facts. 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 Okay. And then I'm going to read the text messages that he sent me because I think they're absolutely fucking, they're just appalling. Like, they're, they're appalling. And this is a behavior out of a man that you, I don't want him representing anything in, in, in Kylie Rodney's case, because I think the man's off his fucking rocker. He lost some marbles. He needs to recollect them and go hug and kiss his kids. I'm going to leave that up on the screen while I read these, because this shit is just fucking laughable at this point. And I'll even read my responses to him, because I think he's a fucking joke. Okay. The other day, he says to me, We'll just start with the dramas that he started with me. This was just from last night. Actually, no, I'm going to read them all because it's fucking, he's fucking weird, dude. Like, he's fucking weird. I asked him the other day, this was on Thursday at 11.29 p.m. And I asked him, what do you mean by we're compromised? Because he kept saying that, the YouTube community is compromised, that it's infiltrated, whatever. So, he says to me, I was just waiting for you to text, predictable. See, you are so good in what you do, right? You enter in communications with an alleged witness and participant of the night in question. No, wrong. Okay? And he says, Megan, you, as well as Michelle, got an interview with Michelle. Do that. I don't even know what he's saying, man. Due to that, the coroner's report indications, all the witness did lie to media and say, and let's j just say authorities. Now everybody is suspect, Shanda. That's why I distanced myself from you after getting this information. Then we have smart, not so smart Daisy requesting my info when my info is none of her business. And if she wanted my info, she could have called me and probably would give it to her. Also, if she or ya wanted my info, that bad for you, or her, her would have had... I don't even know what the fuck he's saying. Next fucking whatever. Now tell me I'm wrong. Can you explain to them, and I believe you did understand clearly not personal at all. And I explained to them we had somebody come in on our Discord, and I wasn't sure who it was, and we were just trying to figure out if it was J-Rod or some intruder that shouldn't have been there because it's set to private. Um, and then I said, you do you, babe, but I assure you, we are not compromised. If you need to s separate from us, do that. Respect. Be well. And he says to me, Shanda, again, if you did understand when I said I love you, I meant what I said, though. But now I can't chat with you, not because I don't want to. I like you, but after that info, no one can blame me for dis distancing myself, though. That's just common sense. This dude's off his fucking rocker. Not saying you're involved at all. It's just facts with the investigation The you, me, and others are doing independently. I hope you understand because I know the other ones probably won't. It's okay. Just protecting myself until new notice. I mean when I say let's, let, let's Kylie's case get to a close after final results. I hope you still want to chill with me. And I just told him, I'm going to stay diligent. It's so sad that so many are turning their backs on this case, but I get it. How deep it goes. Be well. Contact me when you feel the coast is clear. This is what he responds to me. It gets crazy. We hear Shanda. It will be over soon. And please stay focused to do, to do, I believe even though you got close to the fire with Megan interview, I believe that if you knew anything, you would have delivered a long time ago. 
This is my pure benefit of the doubt. I don't even know what the fuck he's saying. Due to the love ya already showed me, I would love to chill soon. Everything is over. I know too much. Nevada knows. If they ever pull me in to help d due to the YouTubers involved, I'll have to pull the rug off Megan's feet. And all the YouTubers link to her. Quick hint. X underscore X. We already know that is anime. And others. At the party, I don't know who TD has been looked into too. The link is Ikadmel and Megan. Remember, TD IG messages about they train her. I wish we could make a conference call. Me, you, and Nevada County Sheriff's Office. So that way, they know all of your info and what you know about Megan. Let's say, through the interview, or whatever you have, have gathered, whenever you're ready with your phone presentation, call me and we together conference call them for an independent report. What the fuck? That will also clear you from any wrongdoing, if any. Why, I don't know what he is even saying. He said, I am always here for you, though, again, if you ever want to conference call between me, you, with Nevada County Sheriff's Office, please call me as soon as possible if you have any inside info. I don't even know what the fuck he's saying. Call me as soon as possible if you have a inside, the no one, I don't know what he's saying. Have you break this? If you have the inside to break this case wide open. Whenever, I don't know what he's saying. Whenever this is on true crime. By the way, if the girls still meet, need my full name, it is somewhere on my Twitter post or Instagram. Who cares, man? Like, who really cares? And then he tells me, I'm a call away. And to go check him on some panel with T-Rev and Kevin Neese. I don't really care, buddy. And then here's where he starts the crazy, crazy shit. This is what he it's says. just getting crazy? I know. This is from yesterday. This is what he sent to me yesterday oh. right after my live. Okay. This is why. Oh, I, okay, go ahead. He is the reason why I cut off my live. The live was going really well. We were having, like, just chat with Megan. It wasn't like we were interrogating her. She was nice enough to come on. I didn't ask her to. She just popped up in there. And I was chit-chatting with her. We were talking about rolling a ball down a hill. We were laughing, having a good time. She was answering some questions that I had for my personal, you know what I mean? So I could look into things. She was taking questions from chat. And things were doing great. Things were doing great. And then all of a sudden, him and some other dude pop in there. And they literally started treating her like she is a suspect that has been arrested and detained. Literally interrogating her. Go ahead. Go watch the end of my life. I put it back up public. I didn't edit it. I'm leaving it as is. I want people to see his fucking behavior. Because it is appalling. It is appalling that people like him and morbid reality exist on YouTube and get away with the shit they do. Threatening people and shit. Okay. You know we love you, but sometimes you just show a little too much of your love for all the people involved. It is okay not judging, just observ observations. Just so you know, no one's believing <clears throat> Megan is okay until she shows her face and talks to the people. Is now, I don't even know what he's saying, is now one worrying about her and you know this. It is a fact if she gave Sammy a 25% of blame and that's a penalty in the trucky way. If you are so close to her, you know it's convenient for her and you the said the she's fine. She is fine. Because if indeed something happened to her and you and Daisy are just covering, like, are you fucking kidding me? Megan is fine. Go message her on Facebook. She'll respond to you. I promise, buddy. She just doesn't want to talk to you because you're a fucking crackhead crazy dude. Can you see it as what it is and not how you wanted it to be? Bring Megan out to talk to the people. You know if she don't come out or show her face, I would have to report you and the possibility of this to the Nevada County Sheriff. 
I'm just giving you time, Shanda. You know how deep I am in this. Please bring Megan out. I give you a few days or I have to do my job and report this possibility, okay? Like, what is he doing? Like, were you going to report me to what? For what? I have the same information that everybody has. None. None. Jesus criminy. Let's keep going. Please bring Megan out and I give you a few days or I have to do my job and report this possibility, okay? Number one, if you have to do your job, then maybe people should start reporting you to the authorities for pretending to be law enforcement because that is a federal offense. Fuck with me, buddy, and see I don't report you. Please, Shanda, I'm trying to keep you away from your own fire that you started. <laughs> Mad love for you. I'm with you. Just do it. And I told him I wasn't reading all of that. He's like, LOL, hun. Just get Megan out for an an, an at face cam interview. It will be good for both of you. Capiche? I said, no one has proof of a crime. No one. If you do, then you take that to Nevada County Sheriff's Office. Now you're going to treat me like the people of, pe people of Truckee as you've treated them? Get the fuck out of here. I said, y'all ruin shit for yourselves. You really do. No, just letting you know, bring Megan out for a face cam interview. What are you hiding, Shanda? Just bring Megan out. What happened to Megan? That's it. And yes, I have to talk to Nevada about this. You think I won't if Megan don't come out soon? Yes, I will. I thought you cool now. And now as I knew it, you in it too. Okay, he's accusing me that I'm in some, I don't fucking know. I'm not allowed to have friends. Yes, this is all from J-Rod, honey. All. And I told him, he said, okay, you got it, though. My response to him was, and now you've ruined any chance at me getting any truth? So Sherlock and go rip someone else apart. I said, you make me sick, dead ass. I said, listen to yourself. Take it to the sheriff's office, committing the corruption and fraud. Take what, what they are cover covering up to themselves. I said, go fuck yourself, J-Rod. You don't have a pot to piss in, and neither do I, for proof. I said, go prove something, or anything in this case, instead of attacking people you don't even know. And I told him to lose my contact. Like, I am not going to sit here and have somebody say that I am a suspect. In what? For talking to someone from Truckee? Then we are all guilty. Y'all better stop stop talking to RT. Y'all better stop talking to CCTV. Y'all better stop talking to all those people in Truckee. Because we're all guilty. We're all accessory t to what? I don't fucking know. But what I do know is J-Rod is a fucking crackheaded fucking crazy man. Like he really is. Leave me the fuck alone. Don't ever contact me again. Don't ever ask me anything. You don't know what love is. And you don't know what friendship is. All you know how to do is throw people under the bus because you don't know how to be a good friend to them or how to look for information on your own. Oh, and I know we are. Like, that's the thing. And, like, I don't have any proof to go on. There's nothing I can really take to authorities yet that say, go investigate this until I can truly, 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 truly find the information that I'm hoping to find. But for him to sit here and accuse me of things or call me a suspect, I will not have that. Absolutely will not have that. So what we're going to do is we're going to open up some Google Earth because I want to look at outlet areas of which if, and I'm just speculating, they would have taken a car out of the water what is the closest place that we could have taken a car to and hidden in, I don't know, a garage or a container or something? I've never used it this way, but we're going to try it. Are we loading? Are we on Earth? Where are we at here? Can we get to Truckee, California from here? Yes, we can. All right, let's go. I don't want startup tips. Just take me to Truckee. Take me to Truckee, ho. Search. Go. Thank you. Pinpoint it. Let's go. 
We're good. Everybody could see. Bam! Just like that. Okay, so before my live cut off last time, we were just kind of trying to get an idea of where... So this is... That's Reno. That's Truckee. So this is... Right here is Prosser Creek, okay? This down here is where Kylie's car, you see my hand, you can see my hand on the screen. This is where Kylie's car would have went into the water. And then that 911 call came right out of this town, right up here on the parkway. I just need to find it. I'm going to assume it's like right in here somewhere. Okay, there's Best Western, that's 80 and uh, there. Here's the gated community. Right? No. I need to put the address back in is what I need to do. Could have sworn the gated community was like up in here. Okay, there's Verdi. What's the name of that address? I just, I had it written down. Well, let me look. I know I wrote it down. Where the fuck did I write it? Well, I can't remember the name of that road. Do I have to look at the police? Do I have to listen to the police scanner again? Does anybody remember where that the police scanner was from? I'll go listen to the police scanner again from Casey. Does anybody remember the name of that? I forget what the hell it's called. All right, we'll just open Casey's and we'll, we'll listen to the police scanner again. Oh, look at that. Daisy got that shit. <laughs> uh, all right, we got it. Thank you, everybody. All right, we got that. So, what we'll do is go back into here. I'm going to leave that. And I'm going to put this address in there. Reno, Nevada. Search. How far off was I? Oh, I was very far off. Glad we weren't down there. So, that's even kind of a little bit closer. Okay, so we have the location of there. So, it cuts right through the Sierras. Where is Boca and Prosser Creek from here? So, it's even closer. Yeah, it is. Okay, so, I wonder if I can make a tools roller. Yes, please. I need a line. Actually, let's follow a path. Measure the distance between multiple points on the ground. Yes, please do that. Let's say that they left, they left from here to here. Here, to here, to here, to here, to here, to here, down to here. We're just going to see how many miles it would take. Down 89. Up onto the interstate. Oop, I should have made that line a little bit. But we're not shooting for absolute accuracy. Okay. Can we move over on the map? Yes, we can. How do we get over there from here? Did I just go the wrong direction? Possibly. Yep, they would have went 276. All right, can I remove these ones? Can I un Can I take this one off? Okay, let's let's move this shit down here. Let's take Can I How do I Oh, just like that. Right click it and removes. Okay, let's remove all these. Remove, remove. Can everybody see what I'm doing? Like, is it, is it zoomed in enough? I'm just getting a distance. That's all I'm trying to do right now. All right. We're going to go down 276. Oop, let's remove that one and make it a little more accurate. Because I'm thinking this is the direction they went. Uh, I don't know, man. Where's my, where's my little thingy? Hold up a second. My thingy's up there. No, they would have went that way. They would have went 80. They would have definitely went 80. Shit, my squirrels. Sorry, guys. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay. So they're going to go up this way. They're going to go this way, this way, this way. 
this way, this way, this way. See, this is why I think they went this way, because they would have went past, like, Boca. And I think there's a reason why there was a sighting in Boca. Miss Daisy, are you still on audio? Matter of fact, while I do this, I'm going to play the, the audio for you guys, the 911 call, okay? I'm going to go to my history because I know it's there. And I'm just going to play this in the background while that I pass it already. Possibly. Did I? Yep, here it is. Okay. So we're going to listen to this. Just in case you true crime channels want to just disregard stuff. Your boy found some. Really, it's something old, but I just needed to prove. Y'all remember the police scanner with the blue car? I gotcha. I gotcha. I gotcha. I gotcha. I gotcha. <laughs> That's a lot of miles, man. I copy it. I want to respond as well. 2650 Arrow Creek Parkway is the park in front of the gated house for security for a 1037 subject acting erratically. Possibly related to a missing subject out of Placer County. Well, we missing like subject. Right. Six, probably past and the vehicle is a match. It's a light blue minivan. Arrow Creek Praise God in all things you do. Yeah. LakeTimeT.com. Yeah. Just in case. Yeah. Did y'all hear that? Okay. And then we're in the community, so I'm going to go ahead and zoom in a little bit. Okay, if they came in the gated community, they would have come off the highway down here. Right trail. They would have come in here. And from the way that I'm seeing it, they would have come down this highway down here. Let's zoom in. This call came in on the 11th. Just so you know. And then this is where the gated community starts. And we're going to zoom in and I'm going to show you exactly where. Come on, show me my address. Okay. Wait, where's my address at? Where's my pin at? Where does my pin go? Okay, there it is. It's up here. Okay. They literally got the 911 call right there. That is 49 miles, okay? So, to estimate that, if you're driving slow on the side roads, I would say it takes an hour to get there. I mean, I really don't care who uses my content, but if it's certain channels, yeah, I'll have strikes done. Oh, I know. Caroline did threaten to use it, and I already know what her YouTube channel is. Let me see any of my stuff go on her stuff, and we will strike it down collectively. So, just to give an estimate, this 911 call, where I just did from Prosser Creek to this location, is 49.43 miles from... Prosser Creek Reservoir, which I'm going to write all this down. I uh, clearly need a whole new notepad because we've already gone through three. Let's start a big one because I feel like, feel like I'm going to need this. And that's the thing is like I've only ever silenced one person in my chat room and it was because they came in and they, it wasn't because they were trolling. They came in and started mass spamming in my chat room. I gave them a two-minute timeout as a, uh, a warning shot, and they never came back and did it again. Like, I don't ever want to have to feel like I have to ban somebody from coming from my chat. I am open to everybody's opinion, but the second that you're going to start attacking anybody on my panel or start the date and the time of this call, hold on, let me pull it up because it will 
it says right on the screen. So let's go back to his thingy. See, true crime channels want to just disregard stuff. Your boy found some. Really, it's something old, but I just needed to prove. Y'all remember the police scanner with the blue car? I gotcha. I gotcha. I gotcha. I gotcha. I gotcha. Okay, so it says Reno and Sparks, police and fire. This is the date is 8 11 2022. I'll go ahead and write that down. 911 is on 8 11 22. And this call is placed at 3 44 p.m. And it ends at 4 14 p.m. Yeah, living late, Casey is our boy. Like, he does some good shit. He is the one that got me on to the following, like, Salisha Singh stuff. And then, same with Up Church, but I see why Up Church really isn't. But, yeah. So, this actual 911 dispatch call happens from 3.44 p.m. until 4.14 p.m. PDT. The call is literally 31 minutes and 36 seconds long. So I'm going to go ahead and write that down. It's from 3.44 p.m. until 4.14 p.m. And the call is 31 minutes and 36 seconds long. That's a long fucking police call. You know what I mean? Do we want to hear it again? Yes, Gregory. I copy and T7. I want to take you respond as well. 2650 Arrow Creek Parkway is the park in front of the gated house for security for a 1030. Okay, so they're parked in front of the gated community. Let's go back to Google here. Let's see how far we can zoom in. Oh, I need to write down the distance between Prosser Creek Reservoir. And I'm going to write this address down so I don't fuck it up again. 2650. This is where this dispatch is being taken to. Arrow Creek Parkway. And that is in... It's technically Reno. It's the Sparks area. Which, there's a point, there's a point to, to, to me telling you guys this. Like, it's not just to throw some information out there and be done with it at all. Okay. So, has anybody been watching any... <laughs> my brain hurts. Has anybody been watching my videos on Tow Truck Guy and um, Cody that showed up the party? CM. Press 1 if you follow. P press 2 if you want me to fill you in. I'm pretty sure everybody is aware. Okay, so you have in Sparks, Nevada. Nevada. That's how I said it when I lived out there. Alright, I'm going to clear that since we already have the mile. And I'm just going to estimate, that's like 60 minutes of driving, 49 miles. Okay, so you look here, and this is where her car, this, this car for the 911 dispatch is done, okay? And then up here, if you look, up in this area, okay, we're going to find it, because I'm, I'm going to look for it. This little community here is called Reno, but up in this area is called Sparks, Nevada. Sparks, Nevada is where Milne Towing has one of their companies. Sparks also happens to be where Tow Truck Guy lives. Do we know who has a blue van? Rumor and speculation says CM did. So we're going to go back down to Arrow Creek Community. On this parkway here. And I just want to see. I think this is where the gate is. There it is. Okay. So. Here's the thing. Is if you're looking from. Ooh. We're getting dizzy. If you look from the highway. Okay. This is. This is where the highway would inlet. 
And it's kind of odd that this gated community, you can't watch it and you can't look at it from street view. So we're just going to look at it through Google Earth because it's the best way to look. So the reason why I was looking at the videos that I was earlier today, okay? See this little thing right here? This little booth says, unless you have an HOA, which is Homeowners Association, you literally have to have a paid membership to access said security gates. It doesn't mean that outsiders can't get in. What it means is if, if you want it in there, you have to be part of the homeowners association. And any homeowner can, if they want to, the membership, if you have just a basic HOA, it costs $205 a month, and 24-7, this little security gate is ran. But you can get what's called a social membership, if you have an HOA, for $5,500 a year, or $250 a month. And the social part of that allows you to get through these gates, and go through this community, and go to, say, like the golf course, like the the country club golf course, but there's two levels to it. The first level will cost you $105, which will let you into these anemones. The second one will let you through the second area of gates, and that's what I want to see is if this 911 call was dispatched on the first tier or the second tier. And what I'm seeing is all you need is $205 a month, and you can wind up here driving recklessly in a blue van with Kylie Rodney in it for $205 a month is what I gather. Who's being shushed? I'm glad to hear you're, you're doing good, Megan. And I'm glad to see you back around here too. I apologize for the way that you were treated the other day. And it wasn't all of chat. It was just the two, the, the two trolls that, the two trolls that came in here were very disrespectful to, towards her to the point where she got upset and she got off. And that's not how I want it to be. I want her to feel, yes, Caroline and J-Rod are the ones that were just, they were treating her like she was a fugitive on the run. And what I kept trying to explain to them is like, number one, you can't interrogate somebody in the United States <laughs> that ha has never been arrested. She wasn't at the party. Her kids weren't at the party. So how dare we do that? Oh, look, you're going to try to try to hit my computer. Uh, a computer is trying to, to, to hack me. Oh, no, I'm so scared. Try again. You're not going to get through. I got smart about this shit. Better luck next time, guys. Try again. So, in other words, they are able to get through for $205. Somebody was able to get through this first gate. So, the suspect that we would be looking for is definitely going to have to be a homeowner. That's where we got to start sleuthing on that. But this is all of this area in here. They can go into, like, these homes in here, but they chose to go way the fuck up here like they were trying to get to the second part of the gated community, which I don't even see where level number two is. Like, I don't see a second gate. Like, is it, how big is this community? Like, what? Okay, so there's, the, there's a gate there. Where's the first gate? Is there a gate over here, maybe? And that's the second tier of the gates? Let's see. All right, let's start here where it would, this would, okay, so this is 395. Come off of here. Oh, look, there's cars. That's cool as hell. I wonder if there's a blue van. See, I don't see. Can I turn on here? Oh, <gasps> yeah, bro. Let's do that. Hell yeah. Okay, so we can go this way. 
Now I can't remember where I'm direction I'm going. I just lost my balance in the direction. Okay, so we're still going to be going up there because that's the first part of the community. What I don't get is there's no gate there. There's no gate there. There's no gate there. Is that a gate there? No. Okay. Where is the first part of the gates, then? Don't make me put my little man down on this map and walk down this fucking highway, because I will. Because I don't see another access gate. Yo, do we want to look at some houses in here? Where's my little guy? Let's plop this little bitch down here. Boop! Yee! Alright, this will give us an idea. Let's go, Brandon, or what does that say? What does that say? Does that say Biden? I don't know what that says. Brandon? I don't know what the fuck that says. Anyway. Can we move? Can we travel on this map, man? Can we go anywhere? Come on, go. Drive a car. Meet me. Meet me. Ooh. Ooh. We driving. We're driving down a road. Sorry. <laughs> no, we're driving, y'all. Let's drive down this road. See how far we can go before it kicks us off of here. Driving down the road. Okay. Whoa, bitch, get on your side of the road. We ain't British. I'm gonna get spoke Tay. Okay. Now my question is, does anybody in chat know where... Salisha Singh's family was abducted from. Remember, there was, like, a whole bunch of videos. Like, they were showing, like, the, the actual surveillance footage of the abduction. Okay. Now I need to zoom out. Can I zoom out? Because this is making me really dizzy. All right. Let me exit street. Bro, you threw me in the fucking middle of the mountains. Come on, man. I feel like I'm playing a video game and I'm stuck. Like, can I get the fuck out of the desert? Come on. Seriously? This is stupid. Get me the fuck out of the desert, ho. Alright. Let's change our view. Can I turn the ruler off? Bum, 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 bum. Where's my ruler? Edit. View. Atmosphere. Sun. Water surface. Why? Okay. It's still mapping for me. Why won't this... How do I turn this shit off? Oh my goodness. No points to delete. Okay, well, it says there's a point right there, you lying ass bitch. Don't show me a message again. All I'm trying to do is find where the fuck this gated community is because from what I'm seeing and where they were able to go in, Makes not a damn bit of sense. Is there gates here? Because up here is where... Okay. I don't see... That is the only security gate that I see. Is this one right here. The gated community. Is this guy right here. So from the gated community... How did they get through there? Did the security guard call and... I wonder who saw. I wonder who would have made this call. Is the question I guess I'm asking. Okay, they was way the fuck up here, huh? Driving sporadically or erratically or whatever the fuck they said. They made it. Ooh, let's erase that one. That far. Show me a ruler. How far is that? They didn't even make it 0.86 miles through that gated community before a 911 call was placed. Alright, that's good to know. So, I'm going to assume that one of these houses here are the ones that called... 911. 
I'm gonna bet you that it was these motherfuckers right here. With this nice ass house. Wonder who lives here. Alright, so. Can we remember what that house looks like? Wait, what? Y'all don't forget the sightings on the call log in Penn Valley also. No, I didn't hear about that, Daisy. Tell me more. Tell me more. Like, does he have a van or a car? And that's what I'm saying, because they kept saying stuff like that. Keep fighting, Kylie. Keep fighting. Like, and at first they said she was abducted. Abducted is the words that they used. Okay, I remember in that dude's video that he turns here at one point. So, I just want to look at this house in this one video that this guy does a tour. It said silver sedan with a blonde female blindfolded. Really? Where can I find that at? You have a screenshot somewhere? Okay, okay. You have to share it with me on Discord at some point, and then we'll come back and talk about it. Yeah, Salisha Singh is not dead. Daisy, do you care if I pull up that screenshot from you and Salisha's conversation? I just want I just want approval before I pull it up on. I do believe I have it saved already. What is happening? Okay. Mm, let me see where I would have saved it at. You don't mind? Okay. Oh, I just want to make sure. I don't want to steal your heat. Now, let's see. Is that... No, that's not Celicia. Oh, I'm going to have to pull from... Hold on. Let me grab it. Um, do you Did you... Did you private message it to me on Discord? I can't remember. Alright, I'm going to exit out of here. Mm. Wait, what? Shanda, read the true exposures comment. There's a retreat for sale next to Arrow Creek. Yeah, I know. I know there is. That's why. Okay, so... This guy that I was watching, his, he's a realtor, and he sells property. Okay, okay, I'll find it. He sells, I'm just going to pull this up so we can watch his video of the real estate walkthrough. I'm just going to go on my history because I know it's here very, very, very. Uh oh, oh, where is it at? Mm. Dude, I know he just, okay, here it is. So this guy, Reno Real Estate TV, he has an old channel that he did stuff in 2019. And then he has this channel that he does stuff in 2020. And then he has another channel that he does in 2022. But this one so happened to be him doing a drive through Okay, so I'm just going to show you. This is a right about a second gate the area that I'm pointing it's an out that $10 house. dollars per month for your HOA, so you're going to be at two hundred and fifteen dollars per month. This house right here, and that's if you live behind. He's standing in this parking lot, this area right here. here, enjoying a little tennis clinic. Then as we come down here, he's getting ready to go. Courts, he's going to be coming past center, this house up here. Resident rec center. He's showing us the rec center and stuff pool, right now. Your lap pool, your kid pool, your multiple jacuzzis. Yeah, yeah. This is the resident center here. And right across the way. Okay, so he's showing us club. the residence center with a Arrow Creek Club. So, let's start there somewhere. What is this called? Okay, that's the resident. That this would have to be. Where's that? Let's find that sign. It would be this way. Where is the Arrow Creek sign? Okay, this is Arrow Creek Golf Club. So that sign would, I guess, be there, yes, because he's coming through here. Okay, so the first area he's going to go into, I'm going to assume, is down in there. I don't know, we'll watch. We'll, we'll, we'll see what happens. Let's see. Oop. Club at Arrow Creek, and then right across from the residence club, 
we're going up into the now golf club. Yeah, he's going up to the golf club first. Now keep in mind with the golf club, everything has just been redone and completely remodeled. They've redone the clubhouse here. Uh, my email is right on area. the screen, honey. There's a phenomenal restaurant right but up I'll at the top of this. I'll type it in chat. This. And this is a championship golf course here. It's 18 holes. Um, you can see that there's a lot of construction going on. I'm not gonna take you up into the golf club today, but we'll get a couple of shots um, of the course as we drive through. Uh, Thank you, Rob. Here at Arrow Creek. And uh, this course is absolutely incredible. Once you get right behind the main structure here, you get up into the restaurant, which is right behind this. Uh, the good bite to eat, and uh, you're right out on the course at the driving range. You know, a lot of folks absolutely love this course. Coming down from the golf course here, you can Thank see you, this is a very Grant. smoky view, but you're going to be on the you. southwest side of town. Although you can't see downtown, although you can't see the airport and all the casinos right now, right now. Um, as you'll see as we drive through here, visibility is very limited, but these are some of the best views in Reno. Driving through Granite Point, there are a lot of these little different pockets up here that have names. Um, okay, so he's going to be driving up past this house real soon. Everything else, but the homes are large up here, and you'll start to get a feel That's for these. That's the house. You can see the view out here. I think. And it's unfortunate because of the smoke. We'll have to come up here and refilm this. On <laughs> I laugh at this every time. The houses up here have absolutely ah. incredible views of Reno that are right behind this huge blanket of smoke. Um, even though visibility is very limited, you okay, can get the idea about. here. So you're looking out at the entire landscape of the downtown area. Right this is a view that's looking directly north. You can see some of the casinos down there. Um, but the view of Reno is just wonderful from the But it's great if you just don't pay attention to all the smoke. Here. I'm going to take you down through here we Grant go. Point 2. Grant Point 2. Let's see where that's at on this map. Since I can't fucking... Okay, so I'm going to... That's the golf club. He went down through there already. He's going to be up here. This is where he's at now, I'm going to assume. Yeah. No, because here's the golf course. There's the residential center. Okay. So we're up here up here further. Why is there no street names? Can I get some street names? Damn. Is there any announcements? I'll take announcements on it. Um, roads. Oh, let me take that shit off because it ain't even tell me the road names. Damn, I could see so much better with that. All right, so, yeah, he's driving down through here still yet. So, we haven't seen this house yet. Okay, let's keep watching. Okay, and I do have the police call now. Okay. Thank you, Medic Grant. Oh, shit. houses the views are just wonderful a lot of them have raised decks and patios a lot of them are on just over a half an acre some are quite a bit larger than that south reno but all these Come homes on, up bro, here get premium. Through these a lot of them are custom builds with you know a lot of these stipulations that come about with the uh, with a relatively straight hoa through you got a lot of custom builds a lot of great architects involved yep i don't care what he's got to say right now to be honest I'm not being a dick but drive a little faster bro yeah, there you go. Cruise it along. Cruise it along. Thank you. And what you'll see on the backside, when you're not looking down due north with the view. Okay, due north. This is where. Okay, let's go. Your views on the backside here. You can see some of these incredible homes. And these are directly out overlooking some of the fairways. Turn, and then also up on the backside of Mount Road, similar to the views that you get over in Galena because essentially that's the area that we're in. Is that the house? No. It would be on the left side, wouldn't it? Let's relook. Okay, that's a red roofed house. It might be. Hold on. I'm going to keep watching. I think that might be that house. You see the shape of it. Okay, it's right on a corner. And it shaped oddly. That might be it. That roof looks like it. Let's keep watching. I wish I could say that what you see is what you get up here in Arrow Creek, but today that's not the case. On day that's not Boom. I think it is. I think he already drove past. I don't know. Nope. That's the house. 
I don't fucking know. That looks like he just drove past where we're we're at here. Maybe. So I don't know. Let's see. Right I think he's driving down. up the road though. In this particular so area, the house will be on the left hand side. It's, just it's up here. There it is right there. Keep driving, buddy. You're going around the cul-de-sac. Okay, so if he's going around going around the cul-de-sac, is that the house? This particular shrubbery. Slow it down. Here. But this entire community is built around this beautiful Oakley golf course. So you get the feel for it. Everything is a bit spread out here. Spread out enough to where you feel like you do have yep. a ton of privacy. You're definitely in an urban residential neighborhood. Well, yeah, it's a gated community. You should feel but very. It would be very difficult to find pretty. one home in this particular community that is not absolutely incredible. Keep in mind the back side of these homes have a view that is Show me stellar. the back sides of them homes. That's what I'm excited about. <laughs> Y'all cracking me up. Hmm. Where does Nancy Pelosi live? Where, where's all her houses at? Because I know she got some houses in this area. Where's Zuck live? What'd he buy? I know he bought a whole ass chunk Still of property plenty of lots that are available for purchase up here. There also is quite a bit of available inventory up here. Okay, go back out to the main road, dude. That's what I need you to do. I need you to drive past this house. Meep, meep. Golf course. Beautiful golf course. As you can see, everything is built around this elevated. As you can see, they don't know course. what it is to beautify that median, though. And this is not as an extensive or an extensively golf centric community like you'd see yeah, over yeah. in Montreal, believe it or not. Even though everything yeah. was built around the golf course, I'm gonna need you to pass forward. And the kids club and different things. And they don't play golf. See some of these incredible homes up close and personal to really get a sense for that is the house. There it is. The architecture. Because here is the turn, right? Boom, there. That's it. Okay, so. That is this right here. This is what he just drove past. This right here. So I'm going to bet you any money that either this person or this person is the one that made this 911 call. Okay. So I'm happy with that. I wonder if I could click on. Oh, ooh, ooh, ooh. Looks like Fred Flintstone's house, don't it? All right, so I finally have the screenshot of this 911 dispatch call. The event is 2208110135. Location Crosser, Cross Streets, and Location Comments. It says the type is suspicious circumstance vehicle person disposition handled by dispatch the date is 8 11 at 1 13 p.m this other call was placed at 3 44 so i'm gonna write this other one down and this one's on the same exact date 8 11 22 at 1 13 p.m um and the beat is six that took Hmm. Comments. 911 caller R RPDG TG suspect activity caller witnessed on Tuesday night at the Dollar General in Penn Valley. Well, let's pull up Dollar General. Penn Valley. Oh, look at that. Let's see where it's going to take us. Search from here. Boop. We flying way the fuck over. Wow. Dollar Gentral is how far from all of these places. That seems like a far ass drive. From where? 
or Sherwood Forest. Bro, I don't know, man. That seems like a whole fuck ways out of the way. Like a whole, like, maybe it's possible that they were paying people to make all these random fucking phone calls. What do y'all think? Do you think, because it just doesn't make any sense to me, like, all right, let me see where the fuck we're at compared to, okay, Dollar General's clear the fuck over here. Truckies even way the fuck over here. Do you think, okay, so do you think that these, all these calls were made out to distract people? Press one if you think it's a distraction. Press two if you think these calls were made because people actually spotted Kylie. One if you think these phone calls are distractions. Two, if you think these are real spottings of Kylie. And then while we do that, I'm going to... But these are all on the same day. What are they going to Dollar Gentral for? Because I'm just going to say this, okay? Do you want me to measure the distance between Prosser Creek to this dispatch location on my I'm just going to, what is this? Why is this? Okay, let's close that. Because what this is saying is that the 911 caller is reporting suspicious activity Caller witnessed on Tuesday night. So if this is 8-11, let's check the date. That would be... Wait, why am I in 2003? Oh, hot, dumbass. Okay, so August 11th would be Thursday. And this is saying it happened on Tuesday the 9th. Okay, so they called in on the 11th, but it was on info... Of 8, 9. So maybe, I mean, there's two days of gap. They could have been taking them various, taking this stuff various, why is my nose ring doing that? Taking her various places to keep trying to hide her. Okay. I get it now. All right, let's take that away. And it says that the caller witnessed on Tuesday night at the Dollar General in Penn Valley, caller advised a silver sedan. Okay, so in this one, they're in a silver sedan. And then on the other call, it was a blue minivan, right? Uh-oh, I'm running out of ink. It's time for a new pen. I'm going to have to fill that one back up. Blue minivan. So we got three different cars, okay, in a silver sedan, was parked at the Dollar, G, Dollar General, and inside the silver savan, sedan was an x-ray, why does it say an x-ray, with long blonde hair? What is, what is it, I don't understand, in the passenger seat with a blindfold on. What do they mean when they say an x-ray? See what I'm saying? I'm going to zoom in so y'all can read this yourself, if it'll let me. Ooh, ouch, that hurts my eyes. See, it says, ooh, says, inside the silver sedan was an x-ray. An x-ray is a female? Oh, eh, I get it. Now I get it. XY, I get it. XY, I get it. I get it. Okay, makes sense now. Thank you, guys was a female with long blonde hair in the passenger seat with a blindfold on. That's fucking weird as hell. Caller wasn't aware of the... Mups? I don't even know what the fuck that says. Mel... Is that... What does that say? Mups? Does that say MUPS? M-U-P- 
MUP5. I don't know what that says. Oh, it is. It's MUP5 event closed by CAD4. Okay, so let's look up what those mean. That's MUP5. California Police Code MUP5. Radio Police Codes. Mm-mm-mm-mm. Okay, M means a Mary, Union, Paul. I don't understand what that means, though. What's MUPS mean? These are numbers. That is not helping me. So, that would be a MUPS 5 is what it says. A MUPS 5 would be a code for a stakeout. Is that, is that what MU MUPS is a missing person? Okay, thank you. Thank you. Because I can't tell if that's a... F it's a 5, though. MUP5. And then this one says CAD4. So what's C? I don't understand this. CAD4. Oh, so 4 would be no further assistance. Okay. With the comment, tip line is working. RP advised. Hmm. So, they're saying that this person was at the Dollar General. I can't believe I never saw this one before. Is any is there any other 911 dispatch calls? Is there any other 911 dispatch calls that come in the form of this? Because I know that, um, what the hell's her name? Plunder had a like a list of dispatch calls but i'm afraid to play her videos on mine because she the type that strikes people down and i ain't trying to get a strike this early on in the race so if i just go and take a i should be able to access these though right like how can i access these i would have to go into their docket their uh police scanner thingies huh or whatever the fuck they're called um You would think that they would have cameras. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, you would think. Four and five. Hmm. Yeah, and I remember seeing this, hearing about the sighting of her car at Hirschdale Road, which is where that gas station is, the RV Park gas station trailer park whatever the fuck you want to call it august 17th can we confirm that one that was on august 17th oh my nose is so itchy uh, uh, uh conspiracy conspiracy had a 911 call from last month and it said blonde female passenger blindfolded yeah this is the one this is the one that i have true exposure that's this one here oop where's it at where did it go george that's this one here. This one's 911 caller, suspicious activity caller witnessed on Tuesday night, which would be 8-9 at the Dollar General in Penn Valley. Caller advised a silver sedan was parked at the Dollar General, and inside the silver, dan, s silver sedan was a female with long blonde hair in the passenger seat with a blindfold on. Yeah. I just, I need to find, okay, that's conspiracies. Can anybody confirm the one on August 17th that there's a sighting of the car at Hirschdale Road? I would like to have a copy of that. Check Twitter, huh? All right, I can do that. Oh, I like Twitter. Oh, look at that. Twitter, them little birds just drop a little. I like, I'm going to start calling my little Twitter birds crows because cro crows bring little good, good, good gems and tokens of good things. All right, what's this one say? Let's copy the image address on this one. 
put this guy out of its misery and open this one here. See if it'll let me open it. Nope, won't. Okay, so I just drag and drop this one. Open your image in a new tab. Let's open image in a new tab. Oh, what did I just do? And... Yo, come on. Where did my... I was just looking at a whole bunch of images and now it goes away. And then I need this one. Open in a new tab. Alright, you guys. Let's move this guy over here. This guy over here. And this guy over here. So we have that one. That one is technically, the call-in date is 8-11. But this happened on 8-9, was the Dollar General. Female. Blindfold, we'll just put that. Okay, and then this next one is i remember this one and i just couldn't remember okay this one's on the same day is technically this one will be at 5 18 p.m this is dated 8 9 22 beat six again same beat primary unit id is 1d 42 And this one says, location is Prosser, RP, RPTG, suspicious Mel that was making strange statements of different scenarios of what could have happened to the MP. RP has the convo recorded. Well, where's the, I want to hear it. And this is at the artist lofts. I saw the artist lofts. I know where these artist lofts are at. So, did somebody call and report, I'm going to assume, JW? What do you think? Megan is, as a person that works for a state agency, do not answer that question. Oh, is somebody asking Megan questions in here? Because we're not doing this today. Oh, check the last one I sent. Oh, what's this one? <gasps> oh, shit! <clears throat> this one fits what I've been saying all the fuck along. We're going to use that little last little nugget for the last thing to put on there, huh? That's crazy. That's crazy what I just am reading there. That's crazy, Tom. Oh, I did. I'm looking. I'm looking, Daisy. I see it. All right, so I'm going to write this one down so I have all of my things written down. And then I can come back. I'm going to save all these as well. This one's from 8, 9, 5, 18 p.m. Same beat. This type is a follow-up. And this one is crazy combo. <laughs> crazy combo. At the artist lofts. And I know where those are at. Cause I see that seed. I got I got took there on, on a on a video call. Um CID 8922. Okay, alright, next one. This one is Mel in an older white or tan van with black roof rack. All right, so this one is, the location is State Sage Hen Road. We're going to have to look that up. It's 80, oh, so 89 and Sage Hen Road is up by Prosser. I can guarantee it. Uh, the male in older white or tan van with black roof rack, tan tire cover says Colt M16 on it. Um, unknown LP parked off the road seemed to be living in the vehicle. Possible related to Pl Placer County missing. Da, 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 da. Okay, so I'm going to write this one down as well. Because I'm going to look this shit up. I want to look up that location. What's the location for this one? Prosser. That's cool. Nice, nice job on 
Yeah, I'm gonna look that one up. This one, I want to look this up in Google Earth. I'm curious. Okay, so this one was placed on the day after Kylie went missing. This one, I'm curious about. Because this is the day I say they took her car out of the water. So, 8 7 22 at 5 20 p.m. Beat six again. They handled it by dispatch, huh? Okay. And this is eighty nine. State 89 and Sage Hen Road. It's in, what's JSO stand for? Can anybody help me? JSO, dirt area. Like, I know what the dirt area, but what's JSO stand for? Anybody? Just south of, thank you, thank you, thank you. That is actually, okay. So, just south of dirt area. Okay. Dirt area by the Sage Hen Creek Bridge. Okay. Okay. We can go look at that on Google Maps. Sage Hen Creek Bridge. All right, let's go look at some Google Earth real quick. We're going to go back to Boca, well, back to Prosser. 89 is right here. 89 is what runs through here. Okay, so if this is Prosser, that's TK Painting, Hobart, Hobart Mills, Wherewood. Wonder if it's this down here. Can I walk with my little dude anywhere here? Name me the roads. We got photos. Oh, that's cool. All right, we got photos of all this shit too. This shows photos here, shows photos here. Okay, so 89. What's the name of this road? I guess I'm going to need Google Maps to look for the name of this road. Let me see if I can type it in. Sage Hen Creek Road. Sage Hen Creek Road. Let's try Truckee. Uh... I just feel like this is going to take me somewhere completely different. I'm going to give it a chance. Search. Woo! Nope, it's not. All right. That's just right up the road. Okay. All right. We got it. Okay. So here you go. Here's pro There's pictures taken of around here. Oh, it's just that tree. Okay. That's weird. Okay. So we follow just so you know. This is technically the main entrance right here to Prosser Creek. But I still think they took this road and went down and through and cut through this little U-turn. That's just my opinion. Yeah. I'm just trying to see what's going on with chat and I can come back and check chat here in a minute. I'm just trying to find some things and stuff. So, Sage Hen Creek Trail. Where's the bridge? Megan, do you know where this bridge is I'm talking about? Am I getting near it or is it further up? Because the location for the place that is this here. Where is Sage Hen Creek Bridge? Sage and Creek can't, <gasps> dude, so, 
were they trying to like dump her body at different places is like this is what's happening because here okay so if that's Seichen Creek Trail I wish I had street names on here so I'm gonna have to go to maps I need the street names because that is not helping me hello maps I'm the map, I'm the map, I'm the map, I'm the map. Up, oh, show me where, where I live. Let's dox ourselves, why don't we? I'm sure it's doing that to me. That's okay. Let's get on over here to good old Shrucky. Beep boop. There's 8989. Okay, there's... Boca and Prosser, there's Hobart Mills. Let's keep on zooming. Let's find our roads. You're not gonna name any roads to me? What the fuck? Layers. I just need the names of the fucking roads, bro. <laughs> like, really? That's traffic. Just show me a regular map. I need, I don't want traffic. Lied. I need the names of the fucking roads. Satellite? No. Default. Herbert Mills Road. Okay, there's that creek. So there is the bridge. This would be the bridge? Is that what this is? Sage Hen Creek? So it's saying just south of the dirt area at Sage Hen Creek Bridge. Okay, so back to... Where is say where's the creek that runs through here? Whoa ho. Okay, so that's Sage Hen Creek Trail. Where is the water? Okay, that's Sage Hen Little Truckee. They call that little Truckee. So is this the dirt they're talking about here? Let's go up. Okay, so here is the water. There's the bridge. So if they're saying just south of the dirt, would it be like this here? Just south of dirt area, Sage Hen Creek Bridge. So I'm gonna assume that they were like here somewhere. Yeah? Oh, wow. Chat's going off, man. I should probably catch up on some shit. Woo! Now, is there any way that I can put markers on here? Ooh, look. I'm going to start making pen points and stuff. I'm going to add. I'm going to move this guy here. I'm going to title this shit. And this is... South... Oop. Can I type it? South. Sage Hen Creek Bridge. Okay, and then underneath here, I want to write all of this. And then if I can start mapping all this stuff out, I will make this like public. So everybody could, like, map things out if they want, you know? All right, for my description, I need to move this so I can write and type at the same time. This is the 8722 dispatch on South 89. And Sage Hen Ooh, Creek Road. Right? Is that what it's called? Or is it just called Sage Hen Road? I don't know. We'll just put that. Okay. And then this call was placed at 5.20 p.m. Beat. Six. What do I hear? 
hear a noise and it's Discord. Am I supposed to be looking at Discord? Wait, Kylie was a sad. Oh, I'm not. I don't want to get into that. Um. Okay, what are we trying? Wait, do what with our phone settings? What are we talking about here? I missed a lot of shit going on in here, huh? There's a reason why AWP said don't pull the plate off the car because they knew up front there was misinfo about the make and model of her car. Yeah, anybody can take a license plate off of a car and put it on anything else. And I still think that the car that they found in the water was an American car where Kylie's car was Canadian. The difference is Kylie's car had a sunroof on it. Sammy was accurate on the description of it. Sammy would know because she was in and out of her car. Just speculating, in my opinion. Making the print larger to read the chat on their phones. Well, the chat on my screen anyway is... Uh, what do I want to say? I make this size bigger. Ooh, ooh, there we go. Yeah. Icon color. Can I make it a different color? Uh, I guess not. Red. Okay. Yeah, fool. That's what's up. I want to make it purple then. For like a purpley or purple. Yeah, purple, purple. Yeah, something like that. Well, that didn't work. How about that color? Nope, that didn't work. I guess red it is today. Eh. So I'm just gonna stand out. Why is it making it green now? What the fuck? Oh, well. Let's just make it yellow again, I guess. Alright, cool, whatever. Alright, so we got that marked. What is the difference, the distance from there to Prosser Creek? Tools, ruler, let's do a path. So from this dirt road to Prosser, Can this map move or what? Here. Okay. Beep boop. Damn, puppy's thirsty. Come on over. Well, let her finish drinking first. That way, when she goes out to pee, like, she'll pee pee. Beep boop, beep boop. I don't think this is going to be very far from here. That's why I think this is very possible. And then the other thing I'm going to do is put on some... I'm going to drop that little guy down there. And we're going to go look around. See, see what kind of weird fuckery stuff is down there. But then I also want to show you guys this weird little area that's right next... Like the housing that's right next to Prosser Creek. I want to show you that too. And then we're going to... Well, first, we're going to go back and read all the other dispatch thingies. I'm just doing this as I go along so I don't lose my fucking squirrels any more than I already have. On the map, on the map, on the map, on the map, on the map. Okay. And then... Yeah, because this would have been the way that they had to come into Prosser, supposedly, allegedly. Who knows? All I know is I'm just going to map it all completely out to the sanctuary. Beep boop.
technically they would have had to taken her car out of the water to get it up there. So, so this still doesn't make sense to me at all, but whatever. I feel like I'm on the wrong side. Fuck, I am. God damn it. I knew it looked wrong. Get the hell out of here. Get the fuck out of here. I knew I felt wrong. Get the fuck out. See, I just don't believe that they would have driven all that distance to... No, I still think that instead of them driving this direction, they'd have went down this way. I don't buy that they drove down that way. I don't know why. Hot a baby. You gotta go with Ruby. Go with Ruby. No, give her another one of her chews, buddy. I just bought her a whole bag of multi chews. Wow, it's screaming. Hold on one second. I'll check my phone in a sec, Daisy. All right, here we go. So I think they literally came down this road right here. I do. And the reason why I think they did is because it goes right to the fucking sanctuary. Come on, my guy. Click, 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 click. Whoa, bro. I get it. I'll get it in a second. I'm sorry. Okay. So we're taking it straight out the water. That is 8.61 miles. Eight point six one miles from Prosser Creek Reservoir. I got messages. I gotta check them. Check Twitter. Check my emails. Check my. I'm checking all these things. Okay, I'm checking all the things. Okay, I'm checking. What am I checking? Holy moly, guacamole! Holy fuck! Well, this is a lot, man. All right. Now, what do we got going on here? I got a lot of messages. Hold on. Well, let me check all this stuff. Uh, I don't even remember my password for this. All right, I just put a thumbprint in. All right, let me check my messages. Let me check this stuff. Sorry, I was trying to map things out. Let's see what I can pull up on here. I'm just gonna let this video of this gated community. Be oh, I see, Mission I see it all. It's crazy town in there. All right, thank you. All right, so I got the first three. Actually, fuck this guy. He's boring the hell out of me. All right, so I'm gonna pull up all of these police calls. Oh, put this back over here. We did the artist lost one. The artist lost one. This one's the one on Sage Hen. So I'm going to go ahead and save these ones. I'm going to save these by the dates that they were actually done. Because this one is wrong. This one should have been 8-9. So I'm going to save this one first. Save image as. Come on. What is going on, man? Alright, i got to save this in Kylie's folder. Ooh. Let's make a new folder. Let's name it. What do I want to call them? Ooh. I'm just going to name them call logs. Let's do 911 so it shows up first. Well, second or third, whatever. All right, let's dump that in there. This one can be dated 8 9 22. We did that one. This one's also 8 9 22. This one's later though. 8 9 22 at 5 18. That's weird. 
JPG medium file? What the hell? Oh, well. Doesn't matter. That's weird. So I could get this to be large? Is that what it's saying? No. Anyway. Then this one is from 8.7. And that was the concerning one for me. Let me save this image. 8.7.22 at 5.20 p.m. Okay. That one's done. Okay, so this one is from... This picture is huge. Can I zoom out of it? Okay, cool. This one is from 8.14 at 11.15 or 11.50 a.m. Let me write that down. 8.14 at 11.50 a.m. This is beat for... And this is a follow-up call. Whatever it is, is gone on, gone on arrival. This location is state, I'm going to say, oh, tw 20 state. So it's state route 20. And Mooney Flat Road. And this dispatch says, CHP provided info, which is what they had on their um, road hazard, whatever the fuck you want to call those thingies. Um, silver SUV pulled over on RS, right, uh, be right side, with door open, occupied a female with blonde hair. CHP has unit en route to check the area also, possibly related to... The missing person. That is odd as fuck. And that's on 814. And Nick saw her a week prior to... So this is around the same time. Because on the 13th is when Nick, tow truck guy, I do believe, would have seen her. So, this is Silver SUV. Pulled over, pulled over, right side. Now I'm starting to write like the way they type, with door open. <laughs> Occupied with female, fitting Kylie Rodney's description. Let's find out. We want to find out where Mooney, Mooney, Mooney State, Mooney Flat Road is. Twenty Interstate or State Route Twenty. Let's look. Moon. Oh, is it spelled like? Yeah, it is. Mooney Flat Road. This is in Smartsville. Let's find out where that is. Not very far away either, because there's State Route 20. Hey, look, there's a Dollar General there, too. This is so fucking weird. But it does... Okay, so it's where... So they went to this Dollar General, too. Is that what they're saying? Because... The silver SUV... Was pulled off on the right side with the door open with the female in it. And this is saying that it's where State Route 20 and Mooney Flat Road go. And it's really odd because there's a fucking Dollar General here too. And they're pulled off on the right hand side of the road. So what I want to do is I want to find the address for this. Give me the address for this. Actually, no, I can come here. I can come here and drop a little guy. Let's drop a little guy. Let's see what we see around here. We're going to travel. Wow, bro, calm down. Drop my little guy. Okay, we would be going this way. Right? 
Yes. We need to go this way. Okay. So. If they're pulled off. They would be pulled off somewhere right here. Bet you any money they pulled down in here. To pray. I don't know. I don't think deceased people can eat. But maybe she's alive. Maybe at this point. Who's to say that she didn't. She didn't get snatched up at the party, put in a vehicle, and then go drive all over the fucking place. Who's to say she didn't go for a jolly ass time and someone do something to her or her overdose or something happened to her or something happened to her? What does this say again? Silver SUV pulled over on... Is it the road side or the right side? That's what I'm saying. So, yeah, she was in the vehicle. She was there. But by the time they got there, where did she eat peas that was still in her stomach? Pro probably this place we're looking at right here on a 3D mappy, wherever I lost it at. Where the hell to go? Nope, that sure the fuck ain't it. I have so many windows open right now. Is this it? Yeah. So, what's this place? What do they serve here? They got food. Can we go in it? Scallywags Tavern. Hmm. What do they make? Oh, they're permanently closed. Wonder why. Wonder what happened. Oh, let's look at the menu. Wonder if they have peas on their menu. Ooh, they got tacos. I don't know. Let's see if they got peas on their menu. Can I get a bigger menu? Oh, look at that. We got all kinds of menus. Let's see. What date was this from? 814. So 814 would be what day? 814 will be a Sunday. What Sunday special? Prime dinner served with a choice of... Hold on. Mm -hmm. Zoom in, bitch. Damn, it won't let me zoom in. Why? Oh, yeah, it can. Okay, show me this. Sundays is... And, of course, you gotta be right in my way. Served with potatoes, fresh honey glazed carrots, and a choice of soup or salad. Maybe it was pea salad. Or pea soup. Okay, let's see what else is on this menu. Can I get the hell out of this thingy? Okay. Can I look at it normal? Sandwiches. Specials. Burgers. Okay. Dinners from the fryer. Entrees. What's this guy? Soups and more. Let's see if they got pea soup. Shall we? Maybe they split a meal and she decided to eat the pea soup. Maybe she's vegetarian. Who knows? All right. Let's see what soups they got for the day. They have, okay, those are starters, those are soups. Can't read it because this fucking thing's in my way. Can I move this bitch out of my way so I can look at this picture, please? All right, open, open link and new tab. Maybe it'll let me look at it this way. Dude, can I look at this, just this fucking picture? Can you show me just that picture? Food and drink. French dip, french fries, street view. No. I could look at the street view, though. That'd be cool as hell. I just want to see the menu. With the listing of what we're eating. Kids Corner, homemade desserts, beverages. Can I see the fucking soup menu, please? Bro. Alright, so... This one here should be showing me the soup menu, but it's not letting me bug and look at the soups. Why? Can I zoom in and look at the soups here? No, I can't. Stupid as hell. Nope. Won't let me. Is there videos? Food and drink. Dude, they got pea soup here. That looks like broccoli cheddar, broccoli beans, broccoli potato soup. 
Oh, slap. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to go through. I'm going to check all these things. I just want to see if there's fucking... Ooh, vibe. Let's look what kind of vibe they got up in this bitch. I just want to see on here what kind of soups they have. Like, soup of the day. Like, you know what I mean? Soup of the day. Be on a Sunday. Okay. Fish tacos. Uh, that ain't helping me either. French dip. French fries. Street View 360. That's kind of cool. I still think that this is where they went and had some, some nummy nummies. Anyway. Okay. Back to what I was doing. So that's that call. I want to place a thingy on the map for this location. I'm sorry. I can clear that. I would like to find... Wow, there's a scallywags. Um, Scallywags Tavern. I know it's not in Truckee, but I'm gonna try it anyway. Scallywags Tavern. I don't think it is, but... Are you gonna take me there? <gasps> it is gonna! Alright, cool. Is that it? Yep. That's cool as fuck. Tanks, man. Alright, so... We're just going to estimate that she was seen here between 20 and, or 20 and moon, whatever road. Okay. I need to put a pin here. I forgot how I just did that. Pin. I want this pin to be, we'll just say here. Mm -mm. Bee boop. There we go. Sorry, guys. <laughs> if she has important info for this case it doesn't need to be public she did the right thing she had to find out which date they closed because it may not have been this one what do you mean which date they closed What do you mean, which date they closed? You mean like when they, when they, when they closed this, this place? I'm not saying she ate here. I'm just going based upon what this report is on 814, like. All right, 814, 22, 11.50 a.m. Silver, oops. Wow. Silver SUV PO uh, road. I'm going to say, okay, we'll just say roadside. Roadside with door open. Okay. With female fitting Kylie Ronnie's description. To death. Okay, we're done there. Now, we gonna move on to the next one. Alright, I need to close this out. All it's doing is bothering me. And I'm gonna leave Trucky totally boards open, because, haha. Alright, back to this. Now, this one is 814. I'm gonna save this one. I think I saved this one already. Maybe I didn't. Nope. Okay. 814, 22, 11.50 a.m. Well, it's not valid. Why? Oh, because I put the fifth. Oh, oh, can't put those in it. Okay. Ta-da, and done. Next one. This one's dated on 828 at 537 p.m. 5.37 p.m. Um, this is 
assaults and battery. This is on Greenhorn Access Road and Greenpeace Lane, where Greenpeace Lane and Rollins View Drive meet. This is Greenhorn Campground near Lakefront 20. So I'm going to assume it's going to be right around where I'm at already. This is reporting a male subject walked into a campsite and was all bloody and told the campers he was jumped by a few guys. Wonder why. Located near Boat Ramp, victim is currently at Lakefront, hold on, Lakefront 20. RP states the suspects are currently on site and on a boat. Per RP, the subject is declining medical. Um, the victim's mother is entry to pick victim up. Victim is 30 years old. Oh, I can't believe what I just saw. First of Cody. So the other one is a junior. I told you, I told you that there is a dad and a son with the same name. I told you the CM, the one we're talking about, is a junior. Um, per RP, the suspects are unknown to the victim. All parties are currently separated as of 828-815. So they checked on it. So he he got his ass beat like after she was found. And they and they they yeah. Okay, wait. Janelle Van Shire says there wouldn't be enough sediment on car if placed in Prosser on or after the 17th. I'll have you know, Janelle, that there are things called algae blooms. And algae blooms in temperatures of water that are above 56 degrees, they spread rapidly. The temperatures estimated at that time were between 65 and 95 degrees, which means the algae blooms would form even faster. So with what you see in AWP's underwater footage, I would say it would only take three days for that much algae to develop on a car. Just stating that the, the, the theory of the 17th is more than feasible, more than possible. And if you want me to, I'll pull up the stuff on the algae blooms just to show you that, like, scientifically. Yeah, and that's what I'm saying, Moon Kitten. Like, if they would have posted a video about us, Mm, I'm not going to give him the benefit of the doubt and play it on my, my channel. I'll check it out later. But yeah, I ain't, I ain't, I ain't going to be swayed by him because all he wants is clout. I'm going to pull JW on that one. Go report it. Is it really that bad? Do you want me to watch it? Because I'll watch it. I don't give a fuck. Let's watch it. Instead of giving it all those views, let me watch it for all of us. I'm allowed to do that. Cool. Make a video about me, motherfucker. I want you to. I want you to give me one reason to report you. I don't follow him, I don't think. And if I do, watch how quick I'm gonna unfollow his ass. On point. He hasn't been on point about shit other than the shit he steals from people. Ugh. Which one is it? This one here? Is it this one? Do I not like him? No. After he's threatened me, telling me he's going to report me to Nevada County Sheriff's Office for what? For having friends? He's called me a suspect. I don't know how many times. Messages my phone and making idle threats. Yeah, I ain't having it. Let's let's put this douchebag on fucking spot. This is what he wants anyway. 
<laughs> he thinks he's something special. Where's your info, buddy? I think he's L.E. is what I think. And if he's not... It then... seems that y'all freaking out. No, we're not. That's what he looks like. Mm. I had to stop my soft girl interview with SF Investigates. Mm. I had I to put a stop idea. to that. I think they're buddies. To my part three final conclusions. I'm speculating my opinion is that they're buddies. They're real good buddies. He's probably paid to. I had to. Something came up. <laughs> mm -hmm. Who is? I know who he is. I know who he is. So. That's right. I'm going to do a little background check on him. You came out having interviews. Smug little fuck that doesn't have any information. And you open your mouth, spill all beans, spill whatever all beans, you say. Guy. Thank you. You're welcome. So now people is doing damage control for you. Damage control. <laughs> You see here, I want to be honest to you. Mm -hmm. Nobody here cares if you're okay or not. Not on my team. Your team. No one cares, Megan Cole, if you are okay or not. We don't care. Then we just want to get to the her? bottom of what happened to Kylie Rodney. Because public information made it all suspicious. Fuck. She knows as much as you do, you and dumb fuck. You came fuck. talking. <laughs> I'm gonna give you the chance for you to defend yourself. Nah, go defend yourself once you're reported, once your channel's taken down. You then don't do you that right now. How I, how I know Sam is that? Well, I'm not letting him do this to her. What I am gonna do is I'm gonna send you all a link to a video. Please go report it. You get a dislike, and you get to report for harassment and bullying. It's the whole video. He starts at 2.57. Actually, no, he starts at 0, 0, 0. Let's just start it there. There you go, buddy. Now you're going to get a strike. Oh, go fuck yourself. Someone ban him. Ban him. Get him the fuck out of here. He can't even come on his own real name because he's such a fucking pussy bastard. Ban him. I'm saying ban him. Thank you. Now, if you will... Go straight to this video. Report this for harassment and bullying. Oh, he ain't coming back. He can come back. I want him to come back with another name. I'm going to take a screenshot of this so I can report that he has more than one account. And watch how quick all his accounts are going to get banned. He wants to play games. I'm going to play games too. I'm smarter than him. And clearly I am because I can get an interview with Megan and he can't. All he can do is threaten people. He's a fucking piece of shit. Good. Thank you. This is all I need for him right here. I'm going to save this. Under his bullshit in chat. I'm not doing this. I refuse to do this. I will make a, a whole J Rod folder just for him and report him. He wants to play these games. He wants to pretend to be law enforcement. He wants to pretend to be some big ass, what, bully on the internet? No, I'm not doing this shit. Fake ass keyboard warrior is what he is. No, I don't want to. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm not doing this shit with him. 
And if he keeps it up, I will report him to the fucking authorities. I will. Today's date is 10-26. No, I'm going to start keeping track of everything that he does, all the shit he does. I'm not doing this. I'm not going to have some grown-ass man threatening me. Claims to have eight kids, but clearly he don't know how to respect women. And that's exactly what it is, Daisy, is he wants to talk to Megan, but she's not even... She's not even related or any relation to this case. And that's why she knows just as much as we do. And I don't understand why he feels the need to bully people. But what I am going to do is take this channel, copy this, and I'm going to email it directly to YouTube. But not until I download it as more proof. Like, this is fucking nonsense that people do this shit. Like, wasting my fucking time. He's just another distraction. Just like shit fuck. That's why I've been calling him OP Investigates. On Point Investigates. Because he don't investigate shit. All he does is fucking troll other people and try to deter them into doing shit his way. And it ain't happening. I don't have information. Every... And, Every ounce of information that I've had, I've put out there, which isn't shit. I just don't get it. I don't understand why he does the shit he does, but he's going to leave me the fuck alone. Or he's going to have charges pressed on him for fucking harassment. Think I'm playing? Try me. Try me, buddy. I want you to fucking try me having a fucking child at home. Wasting my fucking time. But here we are. If this is the shit we're gonna do, okay then. Are we downloading? Cool. Now, now that I've removed the fucking thorn, we can continue. Um, so this one is kind of weird. I want to look up this address. I'm not gonna lie. I'm gonna move this back out of my ooh, out of my way for a minute. It's like way up in my way, so I can fucking write without looking over things. This is saying this happened on 8:28. It's kind of funny. Okay, I'm gonna save this. This is 8:28:22. p.m. And that does not go in that folder. This should go in here, but I'm going to keep putting it over here. Is this where I'm saving this at? No. Where I was in Kylie's thingy. It was the police logs. Call logs, call logs. There they are. Right? It's on right knees? Yeah. Alright. So we are going to go to... Greenhorn Campground. Which is on Greenhorn <laughs> Greenhorn Access Road. Um, GOP Nick, that's my same question I have too, honey. There she is. I don't know. I need a cigarette. Let's take a chill time for a minute before I start searching into this. I need a cigarette. I'm dying for one. I can't believe it's already 7 o'clock. I was supposed to take my buddy to the fucking store for groceries. Good thing a grocery store don't close yet. Wait, what? Let's not report people? Get the fuck out of here. This man has been call, like calling my, th or texting my at-home phone and making threats to me? Get the fuck out of here. I'm going to report people. I have a son at home. 
I've been doxxed before. And I am not going to have people put my child's wellness in jeopardy, especially when they're calling and saying they're going to report me to Nevada County Sheriff's Office for nothing. Absolutely nothing. Yeah, I need a doobie too, Mark. The only thing I got is this little pen here if you want to hit this. Nah, shit does need to be reported. Y'all need to stop letting these internet bullies get away with the bullshit that they do. That's why people like Morbid Reality keep coming back under different usernames. Clearly, J-Rod is doing something wrong if he has to have four different fucking accounts to get into places. Like, that says a lot about him. I literally took my personal account and overrode it with squirrels on fire so that I could have a... Yeah, it is going overboard if he's harassing me. Now he's making videos and shit. No, I'm not going to have that. I'm not going to have it. He's, har he's been harassing Michelle. He's been harassing Daisy. Now he's harassing me, and I'm just not doing it. I don't have the time. If it's going to continue, I'm going to report him. And not only to YouTube, but I will report him and open a case to my local law enforcement about him. He doesn't fit in. What it is, he's a YouTuber that can't get up information. So he lies and tells people stuff like, the YouTube community has been infiltrated. Unless he's the one doing the infiltrating, what the fuck is he even talking about? Number one. You know what I mean? Like, who says shit like that? The YouTube community has been infiltrated. And then he says it's me that's infiltrating it because what? I'm telling some, some truth to it. Live, it's because I've had people like him shit on me the majority of my life, and I finally grew a backbone, and I'm not going to settle for behavior like that. It is uncalled for. I have done nothing to that man other than show I have a bigger dick that swings than him. Don't know what to tell him. Sounds like a him problem. Maybe he should go see a psychologist. All right, I'm trying to read all these comments in chat. Because I don't want anybody to feel that. And like, that's the thing is, Ditsy Shizzle, I'm like, you said, Megan, I just think anyone that knows more than the regular person is trying to get views. I think there is a small circle of YouTubers that actually want the truth and not to cover the truth. Exactly. And that's what I'm doing. And what's really weird is now that I've come out, this man did not bother me until I came out with information about CM. The same thing that you're seeing on the screen is about him. It's about him getting his ass beat. And here we are talking about it. Just because I'm, this is public knowledge. Like, I'm allowed to put this on YouTube. It is public knowledge. I am basing my opinion off of the facts that have been presented in front of me. Special needs mom, and I think that's what it is. His YouTube channel has failed as a gaming platform. So now he sees, like, everybody going after the Kylie Rodney case. And now that... He sees is that his little way to worm and squirm into shit. He thinks that he's going to come and make threats to people. As if like. Like I have any say. On Megan getting on anybody's panel. Like she is a grown ass adult. To make her own grown ass decisions. I don't have to as her friend. I don't have to bring her out. So what we can treat, treat this like Salem witch trials. Like who the fuck is this man think he is. Because he ain't shit. The way that he talks down to people, the way that he's talked to Lindsay Neiman, like the way that he talks to people is fucking bullshit. I hope all of his YouTube channels, because one, you're only allowed to have one. I hope all of his YouTube channels get taken down and I hope he gets banned. Boo-hoo for him. Maybe if he learned how to treat people and have a little bit of respect, maybe people wouldn't run from him. Maybe people would share stuff with him. But I'm not doing it. He's a fucking joke. 
If it walks like a duck, quacks like a duck, it's not a cow. <laughs> um, and that's the thing, is like, if he's L.E., he is terrible at his job. If he's not L.E., then he needs to stop going around and saying that he is. Like, either which way what he's doing is wrong. It is wrong. And I'm not going to sit here and make a whole video about him because he's not worth my fucking time. Like, he's really not. I'm done addressing it. All of my mods that are in here, if you have a wrench and you see anything with the name tag J-Ron on it, straight ban it. Don't even, don't wait. Get trigger happy and ban any account coming in here with J-Rod's name in it. He is not welcome here. We are moving on, though. Okay. So we got this one. I saved this one. I want to go look up this location to see where this is at. I'm going to type in Greenhorn Campground. And I'm going to assume that that's in Grass Valley as well. And here it is. Okay, so we got Greenhorn Campground. This is where he got his ass beat. Good. How far away from Prosser is that? See, it seems like he goes around to different places and tries to cause shit and all that, and it just ain't working out for him. Nobody likes him, and I see why. Megan, because you're a human, you're innocent, you weren't at the party, and you were allowed to make friends. You were allowed to have internet friends. I love you dearly, girl. You are safe here. I promised you from the jump that you are always safe around me, I'm not going to have anybody disrespecting you. I'm not going to have anybody disrespecting anyone in my chat. And yes, special needs mom, you can learn a lot by watching and paying attention. And that is why I profile people and I observe. I gave him the benefit of the doubt and he showed me who he was and now I don't want anything to do with him. And yeah, that's what most of these... Most of these shows, or whatever the fuck you want to call them, I call them trauma channels because they are like drama and crime combined together. It's like Jerry Springer, and they get on each other's panels, and they cause all this fucking bullshit just for views, and I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to give that man that type of clout. It's just not going to happen. Okay, so I'm going to take this address here for Greenhow Greenhorn Campground because I want to make a pinpoint in my Google, or my Google Earth. See, that's, these places aren't really that far, but he seems to be going all around town, and then Kylie's body gets found, and he gets his ass beat. I wonder why. No, you don't have to be a mod to spot them, but I'm just letting my mo any of my mods know that are in here which I love them dearly. I thank everybody that has modded for me, that has even come from a shell's channel to help me out. We got Jana Banana. She's a mod in here. Uh, Rob is oftentimes a mod in here. We got Casey Breen, which is her sister. Uh, we have True Crime and Faith. That's Daisy. She's my girl. Tell you what other mods we got up in here. If you're a mod in here, just make a comment in chat. So I can give you guys shout outs. And if you guys want, if you guys have YouTube channels of your own, drop your links down in chat so that people can come and subscribe to you to support you for what you do here. And now I get, I'm getting messages from Debbie, which is fueled by coffee. I regret ever giving these people my fucking number. Like this shit is nonsense. Like this is so much fucking drama. Now, she's trying to give me this audio file that I don't want. Debbie, if you're here, if you're listening, take your audio recording and call Nevada County office and, and, and turn it in there. Turn it into Placer County or call the general attorney. His name is Bob Banta, Banta, Banta. Report it there. I am just a YouTuber. I don't want that kind of information. Take it to J-Rod. He does. Let him get in trouble for it. I don't want that kind of information. You know what I mean? If it's incriminating, 
then um, Mark, if you want me to, I can add you as a moderator right now. There you go. You get a wrench. Hi, Diane Ellis. How are you doing today, honey? Blind Fury says give it to Off Officer Bob Oso. Yeah, and people are losing their fucking minds. Like, literally losing their fucking marbles. And I'm just not doing it. I'm not going to keep catering it to, to this. And why is my phone ringing? Uh, hold on a second. I gotta deal with this phone call. All right, sorry about that, guys. Yeah, and it's true. Callie Unknown, like, there's more insanity around this case, and it's like, why are people coming at me for trying to find the truth? And what little bit of truth I found, I've put out there. It's out there. It's documented. The FBI is still doing their, their, their research on this. Aw, oh, Jade, you're a sweetheart, honey. And that's what's important is that we're accountable, like we're accountable for our fuck ups. And that's what I love so much about everybody that comes in my chat. Like I've noticed anybody that's fucked up, including myself, I've stated that I was wrong. I've corrected it. Even with this case, like I thought people were sus that really turn out that they're not really that sus after all. Now the people that I'm finding sus, I'm going to start calling out. And it seems some YouTubers don't seem to like that. Okay, so this call was placed at Greenhorn Campground at the Access Road. So this is this right here. So this is Greenhorn Access Road. And it would be here. So somebody reported somebody here. Let's put a pin down. We're just going to put the pin on Greenhorn. Greenhorn Campground or something here. I don't know. We'll just put it. We'll put it here. Okay, and this is Greenhorn. Can I type? Do you want to let me type or what? Okay. This call was placed on 8-28-22 at 5-37 p.m. Turn. Caller called because he got his ass beat. Caller reports male entering campground. Bloody and not seeking medical assist. Uh, male picked up by mother. Okay. So, and then we're, eventually what I'm going to do is I'm going to map, once I get all of these police reports, I'm going to map everything out to see kind of like how the movement plays out pretty much. And then I'll just make a pre-recorded video with that on it. So if you guys see any, if you see out of all the police reports that I'm posting today, if you see any that I do miss, please, 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 please contact me on Twitter. I'm going to put my at. That will be my Twitter. And then my email, 
is the same thing. And if you're going to send me any police log calls, please make sure that the screenshots are in the format like this one here. Hold on one second, I'll show you. That are in the format like this. Because I like my receipts. Okay, and I gotta finish writing this down. Okay, mail comes to campsite. Bloody jumped by a few guys okay so it does say the victim as is at the lakefront so let me move this because if he's at the lakefront oop what did I just do can I undo that thank you I want to move this marker Can I grab a hold of it? Can I move it? Can I move it? Nope, I can't. Well, I'll figure out how to move that later. So pretty much the call is being placed from here. Um, subject, okay, I'm gonna put lakefront. Subject declines medical help. And victim's mother is picking up victim. I'll just put picked up by mother. Victim is 30 years old, which means dad. 30. Technically, I think he's 34, and he's Cody the first, or the first of Cody, either which way. Okay, I think this one was saved. 828, yes it is. Okay, let me see if there's any other images. Oh, yeah, holy shit. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven more, guys. Woo! Okay. Then we have that one. That one. Oh, where did they go? That one. So that's one, two, three. That's the fourth one. Five. Six. And seven. All right, let me open these ones over here. One. Whoa, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right, let's 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 continue on. We are following. Megan, I agree. That's why I called it out and I let it alone. Yeah, lots and lots of people are being watched, and that's fine. I have nothing to hide. Like I said, any information I've gotten, you guys have seen it on my lives. What's MC saying? She cracks me the fuck up. Megan, you should. I'll come support that. But I would not let him get on your panel. I'm telling you. Like, all he's trying to do is incriminate people that should not be incriminated. Okay. So, this is the one that I was looking forward to finding, and we have. This one is from 815. Actually, let me put these in order, 
This one's 815. That's 816. That's 815. Let's move this one over. That's at 1227. Okay, this one's first. That one's second. That's 816. That's 814. This one's 811. And this one's 811. That one's at 4. This one's at 7. Okay, so the first one will be this one. This one is, location is Clear Creek Plaza. The cross streets are McCourtney Road and Royal Oaks Place. The type is suspicious circumstances, vehicle, and person. The disposition is cleared by contact. This was on 8-11-2022 at 4-11 p.m. And it was called in to beat four. I'm going to go ahead and write all that down. 22, 4, 11 p.m., beat 4, and this is at Clear Creek Place, Plaza Place, I don't know, we'll look it up, Creek P.O., and it is the cross streets of McCourtney, Courtney Road and Royal Oaks Place. And this one says 911 reporting seeing a car that resembled MP from Truckee's car was parked in front of residence, a door open, and seats pushed forward. RP states that it is one of the two houses on the right that has a bunch of has a bunch of junk like a yard sale is going on out front. RP unable to provide an address states he saw a vehicle as he passed to get his mail and is an odd vehicle to him. And then they showed up 1627. So 16, that would be 427 p.m. is when they were dispatched. 427 is when they arrived. Okay, so then now we're going to go ahead and look up Clear Creek, blah, 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 McCourtney Road and Royal Oaks Place, Clear Creek Place, Plaza. We're going to find out what it is. Wait, what's this one? This one's 8-8. Eight, eight. Oh, wait a minute. We need to fit this one on here. Hold up. Wait. So I need to do this one first because this is 8-8. Eight, eight. Oh, well, I'll go back. What? The fuck? So is this the one with the dog? Is this, is this one says RP required A1021 was notified by a neighbor that several dismembered body parts were found in the ground. This is the one. This is the one that um, they went to and they found out that it was it was a dog right if you think that this call right here I don't know I don't even think Megan would know that do I need to take that out Oh, I love Arizona tea. All right. So, Old Mill Road, I'm pretty sure that that's right by Prosser. I'm going to go ahead and do this one as well. But I'm going to do I'm going to do this one first before I jump to that other one. This call was placed on 8 8 of 22 at 5:42 p.m. or 5:49, excuse me. This is beat 5 was called on this one. This is Old Mill Road. And Long Point Road joining. And this call is, was notified by a neighbor. Several dismembered, this is crazy to me. Several dismembered 
body parts. And ground. All right, let's go find the location of this one. Old Mill Road, Long Point Road. Pull up the Google Earth. Tippy typey in. Old Mill Road. And it's probably going to be Forest Hill, maybe? Let's see. No, that can't possibly be it. All right, does Old Mill Road meet with Long Point Road? Let's see what Long Point Road is. Let's see if they're close to each other. Long Point Road. This is in Nevada City. So let's see how close this is to here. See, this is two totally different places. All right, so how can I find this area? Let's see if Old Mill Road and Long Point, oh, Point Road. Okay, this says Old Mill Road, that's Roanoke. Oh, I have to put an and sign, my bad. And Long Point Road. That says Delaware. Let's try Truckee, California. See if we can find it. Oh, look at that. Don't you know? Truckee Crossroads, Donner. No. All right, so let me do Old Mill Road and Truckee. It's saying it's right here. There it is, Old Mill Road. And what road am I looking for? Okay, if that's Old Mill Road, there's Shore Pine Road, Golden Pine Road. I don't see. All right, let's try Long Point Road. In Truckee. Where is it taking me to? You don't know where Long Point Road is? There's Union Mills. Huh. Why can't I find this road? Let me try regular maps. Close that. All right, let's try Long Point Road. I'm going to try Truckee. Truckee. Is it showing me a road? No. Donner Lake Village. That's Donner Pass Road. I don't see a Long Point Road. Oop. Let's try it again. Okay, let's try Long Point Road and <laughs> Old Mill Road. Dude, this is a totally another place. This is Mount Pleasant, fucking South Carolina. Get the fuck out of here. I want Pittsburgh. What the fuck? Truckee, California. Okay, see that says. I don't see anything that says Long Point Road, unless they added on to it. I don't see a Long Point Road anywhere. Brockway Road, Mark Trail, Bonway, Jerry Lane. Uh -uh. I don't. I 
and this is where the body parts are. Okay, I'll come back to this one. I have no idea where that's at. Okay, and then this one is... Okay, this is car part, car part. This is the last one I started writing down on 8-11. 4-11 p.m. Beat 4, arrived there at 4-27 p.m. Car parked in front of residence. Door open. Seats forward. Like they're trying to move a body, allegedly. Two houses on the right has a junk in their yard. Okay, let's go find that. Has bunches of junk. All right, let's go peep that one out. Ashan took me a long time also. Yep, true that. Yeah, and it, t it took her a long time to realize, like, I am one of the very few people that you can trust when it comes to, you know what I mean, outing people. Like, I would never... Megan has let me record audio between her and I in our conversations. I, in our, the, our little car ride, she took me all over Truckee, showed me, no, you know what I mean, old Truckee, new Truckee, showed me all kinds of different shit, and I recorded it. Not so that I could put it on YouTube, but so that I could go back and refer to different areas to know what I'm looking at, where I'm at, what is going on. Okay, so this is this one. Okay, going out front, unable to provide an address, saw he, he saw a vehicle, he passed to get his mail, and it's odd. Okay, so we're going to find this McCourtney Road. Let's hope we can find this one. Where is McCourtney Road in Truckee? Okay, it's in Grass Valley. Okay. So it seems like a lot of this shit is happening in Grass Valley. I need McCourtney Road and Royal Oaks. Where is Royal Oaks? Okay, there's Allison, there's Brighton, there's Cliff's Place, there's Auburn Road, Paddock, Orion Way, Polaris Drive, Paddock, Larkspur, Thoroughbred Loop, Thoroughbred Loop, Wind Whistle, Ponderosa, Caroline, McCarter, West Van Tamway, Wolf Mountain Road, Patterson Valley, Rancho Nagata, Indian Springs, Lucky Nugget, Retrack Way, Champagne Lane. Okay, I'm going to just look up this other, other name of the street in Grass Valley, which is Royal Oaks. Royal Oaks PL. And that's in Grass Valley, too. Okay, we were almost there. Okay, so it happened between here and here. Let's zoom out and see what's happening. Okay. So they're saying that they were coming up McCourtney Road. Here's Cre Clear Creek Plaza. And it happened on, yeah, Clear, Clear Creek Plaza and McCourtney Road at Royal Oaks. So this is McCourtney Road here. Here's Clear Creek and here's Royal. So we are going to find Clear, we're gonna look for Royal Oak Place in Grass Valley. It'll be way easier for me to find that on Z Maps. And then we're gonna look at for some trash in people's yard. Cause Allegedly, these people got a lot of garbage in their, in their yard. Boom! Show me your trash. So if this is where this road meets and this road meets, 
Let's look for trash in a yard. Can I drop a man down here? No, I can't. Is it you got a lot of trash in your yard? No. They're saying it's here and here. But then again, they said that they dispatched the call from here. So let's start looking at these houses and see if anybody got trash in their yard. I'm gonna shift this and we're gonna look straight up above. I'm gonna zoom in a teeny weeny bit. Let's see what's going on. You got junk in your yard? No, you don't. You're good. You got junk in your yard? No, we're good. You got junk? No. You got solar panels, good shit. Someone got trash there. Yep, this house looks like it's got junk all through their yard. What do you think? Yeah, this is a crazy ass. Like, this one is really, really weird. This looks like these people got a lot of trash in their yard. What do you think? Because there's a big dumpster here. And there's a whole bunch of trash in their yard there. So, I'm going to put a pin here just because... And we're just going to type trash. Oh, excuse me. They said junk. And then we're just going to continue down the road for other houses. This isn't... This is a house? No, that's not a house. Okay, this house is clean. That little house is clean, and they're saying that it happened up on this road. Damn, dude, look at all these solar panels. That's incredible. Is this like a, I don't know what that is, basketball court or something. Okay, and then this is Royal Oaks Place. This is where it's telling me to look. Do these people got trash? See, these people got junk too. So I'm going to put a pen on this one because it is saying that this is the junk house this is saying it's a junk house, and this is actually the intersection of where. And it does look like they're having a yard sale. So we're going to peg this one as the location for the clear. Oop, can't type. Oop, did it again. Caps lock. Clear Creek. And this is... Courtney and Royal Oaks. This was placed on eight eleven twenty two at four eleven PM. Dispatch arrived. Oops, arrived. At 427. And this is for. Car reported. In front of. Residence. Door. Open. Seats. Forward. House on the right, that would be this one. House on right has bunches, <laughs> that's kind of funny, bunches of junk. Okay, now we're good. We'll see you later, Pixie Nixer Nickers. Thanks for coming in, honey. You need to locate Best Buy. You want me to go find Best Buy for you, honey? You want me to find Best Buy in Reno? Is that what we're doing? 
Is that what you want me to do real quick? Let me know, Miss G, and I'll find it for you if you want me to. You, you want to go to Best Buy? Alright, let's go to Best Buy in Reno. And here we go. Goosh. And wouldn't you know that of all places they had to be in was near fucking Sparks. And I'm just going to let you guys see that the Best Buy is here. And this is Sparks. Let's see where Milne Towing is in Reno, Nevada, too, while we're at it. Okay? Because I'm curious. Oh, shit. Wouldn't you know? Look how fucking close it is to Best Buy. Ain't that some shit? Well, clearly it's not because it's still listed as Milne Towing per the... I just installed Google Earth. And it's still being called Milne Towing Services. Look, and they got service vans all up in that bitch. Ain't that crazy. Hmm. I'm gonna put a marker on here. Because I just need to... We're going to put a little... No, let's go back. We're going to put a pin on here. And put it as a Milne Towing. Sparks. Nevada. We good on that? We don't need description. We don't need none of that. Now, let's go back Best Buy. Let's see how far Best Buy is from there. Whoop. It's not very far. That's for sure. Hmm? Who docks to? I'm going to say, because we don't do doxing here. All right. Well, let's put a pen map for Best Buy. Best Buy. With AWP in Reno, Nevada. Okay. Now what I want to do see how far Best Buy and Milne Towing are from one another. Just out of curiosity, where's my other marker? There it is. Which way is going to be quickest? 659. All right. So, we're going to get out our little handy dandy ruler. And we're going to make a path and see how many longs away it is. So we're going to start in their thing. Don't be calling me, bro. I told you I ain't doing it right now. I told you after 8 p.m. And you're calling me early. And we're going to pull out of their little yard here. And we're going to go this way. They're going to hop right onto the interstate. They're going to have to go up this. Oh, nope. They can get on the interstate this way. All right. We're going to go for a drive to Best Buy. See how far away it is. Can we take shortcuts? Let's see. Okay, where's Best Buy? Best Buy is down here, right? Where the hell is my little yellow pen? Okay, there it is, down there. Okay, let's continue down the highway. Boo-boo, we're Little Milne Towing Company. We're going to, to Best Buy to talk to a man about some kids. Hmm. 
Hmm. Boop. 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 Let's zoom in. We don't jump off this highway. And I'm pretty sure they recorded back here in this parking lot here is what I'm going to say. So, six miles. Oh, I got a lot to read. Okay, what is going on in my chat? Best Buy closes at it closes at eight five fifty seven South Virginia Street, Reno, Nevada. Yeah, that's where I'm at. Dude, they got a Hobby Lobby. I'm jealous. And yes, AWP for life, man. Um, GOP Nick, I know exactly who Morbid Reality is. Um, if you email me. Or you get a hold of me on Twitter, I will surely um, share that information with you privately. Um, they would have had to have found AWP. Well, let me see the time of this. This says that that call was placed. But it doesn't make sense because it's still 8-11. So, and this happened well no that would have been around the same time when did awp make that video they made that on the 21st released it on the 23rd i do believe so if this was made oop, wrong way this phone call was made on 8 11 and AWP, so yeah, he said about a week, so I mean, give or take two days. Okay, so from Milne Towing, Milne Towing to Best Buy. is 6.18 miles. Did you get your answer you were asking for, Miss G? I know, I wish we were on StreamYard too. Um, Daisy, if you want to, what we can do is we can go live. Like, all I have to do is hop off here long enough to, like, go to the bathroom and do shit. And then if you want, like, we can hop back on a live at, like, 8.30. It's 7.55 now. Just give me, like, a half an hour to, like, go to the bathroom, grab a snack, take my dog out, feed her. And then I can continue doing what I'm doing. And, then, yeah, that's what I'm saying, like, the thing that is, honey, I want to show you something that was really disturbing to me. I'm going to hop out of here. I'm going to go over to Prosser, and I'm going to show you something that I noticed in the small community around there, okay? So, if you go to Prosser, and you zoom in, okay? If you zoom in to where they had their, their party... If you watch this road that they could have jumped on, come through here, come down through here, okay? If you notice, there's this really small community of houses, okay? I just want you to take a look at if they would have jumped off of here, said skirt, and went down this little access road here. Look at this house here, okay? I'm going to see if it has it on here or not. Where's that main road? There's a main road here. Oh, it's over here. This house right here, okay, if you zoom in really fucking far, one, it has a bunch of white trucks. And then here you look, this here looks like a, some type of tow van. Anyway, number one, it's a double wide trailer, which makes me question CM because he has a double wide trailer. 
But if you look right here, does anybody know what this little metal thing is? Anybody, anybody in chat want to? Want to win a cookie today for today's class? We don't give nuts out anymore. It sounds weird as hell. It sounds dirty coming out of my own mouth. But today, I, I give somebody a nut if they want to. This, this thing right here, do you want me to give it away? Do you know what this is? You want me to give you a hint? Yes, it's a, it's a storage trailer. This is what you see big rigs pulling along the side of the highway, like when you're riding down a road. This right here, no. Because if you look right here, I'm going to tilt it at an angle the best that I can, okay? This right here, this thing that's parked off on the side here, is a dumpster, okay? This thing here is a dumpster. And this thingy right here is a huge storage container that you would put on the back of a semi truck, okay? And then over here is where you have a garage, okay? And there's the garage. And here is a double wide trailer. Kind of weird, don't you think? That it's that fucking close to Prosser Creek Reservoir. Yeah, no, it's not a train. For as much as I wish I could say it is. You can look from this angle. But if you look even closer at their neighbors across the street, they have a huge freight liner thingy. Oh, RV. They have a huge RV across the street. And yes, Miss G, anything can go on this guy right here, including a vehicle. I used to work for UPS. I've been inside of these things. And I'll have you know that inside of one of these trailers, because they're 27 feet long, you can fit two cars bumper to bumper. Almost three. So, makes me wonder. And that's another topic I want to get into, is her autopsy report that points me into the direction with the way that her lungs did what they did, and her weight did what it did, and so many things did what they did. Yes, okay, but the smell, okay. Do you remember when AWP did their interview with Nick, the tow truck guy? And hold on, I, got, I, got, I, got, I, have, I have everything that that man said written down okay you can go back and you can listen to it and then you can quote me on it but i promise you what i tell you he says is exactly what was said on there give me two seconds oh uh, did i set it up here no hold on i'm gonna find it <laughs> All right, I got a lot of notes. Bear with me here. Okay, Nick G, the tow truck guy, said. At first, he says that he is six foot three and that the male was just a little bit, and he went like this, a little bit shorter than him, which would give me the impression that the male was either 5'10 to six foot tall, okay? It was a white bro tank, black SF hat, flat top. He then lets them know that all the calls go through dispatch, which would be... Milney Towing, because he, now on his Facebook, it's removed, but used to work for Milney Towing. Um, he states that the girl said that her phone was dead, and they wound up using the guy's phone. He then goes on to say about her wanting to know how to put the seatbelt through the belt. 
One was on one side and one was on the other. Okay. She seemed hungover and distressed. He then goes on to say how the company that he works for has front and rear cameras with audio. Then Doug asks him, did you notice anything weird or it seemed out of place? And he said, yes, he saw perfume bottles. No, the perfume bottles are not for fingerprints. The perfume bottles are to cover up the smell of a rotting corpse. Ding, ding, ding. I get the nut. Correct me if I'm wrong. But you're going to use perfume to cover up the, the odor of a, a rotting corpse. And it's just details that these plants and distractions, they fuck up and they make note of things that if you're going to replace a battery or jump a battery or do any of those things, you're not going to be the one to get in that person's vehicle. You're going to be at the front while they're in a vehicle and you're going to say, okay, try to start it now. Correct me if I'm wrong. See what I'm saying? These cheese have holes, bro. And criminals are fucking dumb. Like, criminals are stupid. There is not one smart criminal unless you don't get caught. I don't think the perfume bottles had her fingerprints as much as they had the suspect's fingerprints. You feel me? I mean, I wish I could say it was for weed, but I don't think it was for weed. You want to know why? Because le- weed, smoking weed, is 100% legal in the whole state of California. So they're not going to have to be spraying for the smell of weed. Also, any female will tell you that you never put your perfume out in the center console where sun's beaten off of it because it is made out of alcohol and it will explode or catch on fire. And usually, me, personally, I put it in the glove box or my side door where the sunlight's not going to be banging on it. Or the center console that has the little flippy top lid. I would never leave my perfume setting out right in, in, in a cup holder. All right, let me read some of these comments. Um, David and Mark knowing about the military and how they work on the Homeland Security's perimeters. All right, they stepped outside of them in this case, even if they were slow, they didn't have their right. Yeah. So cadaver dogs couldn't sniff out. This is another thing, Adria, and you, and you are, okay? You are absolutely right, okay? The thing about the cadaver dogs, and I don't understand this, okay, is... If they popped squats outside, common knowledge would tell you that a cadaver dog or a sniffing dog or a scent dog or whatever the fuck you want to call them, canine dogs, are going to pick up the smell of her piss and match it to her person. I just think a search was never done. And they had to claim all these things that they did to bank that $3 million. I don't know. I just, I see a whole lot of holes in this fucking cheese. And since nobody can make it make sense for me, I'm going to make it make sense for me. And that's it. But I do appreciate you guys coming here. I'm going to leave all of this stuff setting like it is. Because when I come back live, I need to take a break. I need to stretch my legs. My legs are killing me. My hips are killing me. I need to stretch my legs. I'm going to get in contact with Daisy and see if she wants to go up and do um, like an on-panel thing. 
or if you guys just want me to do like a panel to where we can all just hop on, like get six people talking. If you guys want to do that, we can do that. If you guys want me to do an open panel when I come back, push put one in the chat. If you want me to do an open panel when I come back at 8 30, 9 o'clock, put one in chat. If you want me to just continue doing what I'm doing, put a two. But I am totally open to a an, an open chat. And then what I can do if we do an open panel is I will do, because I have time. I'm not worried about time. Um, don't worry. Even if we do an open panel, guys, I will definitely come back to this. But I do an open panel so we can talk about things that we want to address on my channel. Or we can just talk open case stuff. The Phantom Channel, I agree with one and two. So, and because I never had... Can you ban, please? Because I'm not doing this with this fucking ass clown. At this point is harassment, and I will report you. No one wants to get that? I will. Cool. I would just put them in timeout. That's all. It's okay. J Rod was here. I got him. I just put him in timer timeout. By the time I, I close this out, he won't he won't have time to talk. So I'll come back when I come back from taking my little break. Um, yeah, I'll I'll get a I'll get an open panel going, and then I'll set like a ten minute timer, fifteen minute timer, and then we'll rotate the panel. Oh, he blocked you, so you couldn't see him. That's fine. I put him in a timeout for now. I'm sure he'll come back when I have an open panel. And then when I do have open panel, if you see him, then just go ahead and ban him. If not, I'll give him a ban. But either which way, I appreciate you guys coming out. I'll be back in about 30 minutes live with Daisy and whoever else. And then, and then we'll, we'll, we'll jump on that panel. Thank you guys. I love your faces. I'll see you here in about 20, 30 minutes. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you to all my mods. Don't forget to hit that like button.